Bombing, episode 104. Fellas, ladies and gentlemen, we got a very interesting episode of Bombing Podcast for you this week. It's uh, yes, we do. not your traditional episode. No, it's not. This is still Bombing Podcast, episode 104. This is sti- I want to make that clear. It's going to look very differently very soon. Yeah. But this is still episode 104 of Bombing Podcast. I'm still Hayden Wyckoff. I am still Ryan Jennings. Yeah. And we also still have an email, bombingpodcast at uh, Gmail. Dot com. We check those at the end of every episode except for this, this one. This is the only one we don't check it, and you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, last night we did our friend's podcast, uh, Tom Kelly. His, he's got a podcast. It's called Buddy. and um, Perfect title. It's a great title. And we Buddy. did his podcast last night, which is when we normally film ours. Um, so we're just going to use what, his, what we did on his podcast and uh, we're just going to steal it, pretty much. <laughs> no, it's not, no, no. We're, we're going to co-post it. We're both posting it at the same time on That's each right. of our channels. That's right. So it, it'll it look like it's us on someone else's podcast, and that's only because it is. <laughs> However, we're calling it on this channel. It's still episode 104. Yes. It and was, for, for those of you wondering why the glasses, well... We were at uh, Tom's place doing his podcast till about three o'clock in the morning. We stayed up till three a.m. drinking BLs. Yeah. So. Um, and talking about, to be honest, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm unwell. I am also unwell. Yeah. That's really it. I mean, there's not much to say. We say it all in the podcast that you're about to see, which is episode 104, 104 of stories. Bombing Podcast. Okay. Don't write to us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you. The 100% legitimate episode 104. It is 104. Of Bombing Podcast. Here it is. Oh, let's Let's go, go, dude. Tom Kelly, dude. It's been forever. It's great to see you, man. You too. It's great to be back in the uh, st- the buddy studio buddy mm-hmm. studio it looks i got to say though it looks very similar <laughs> to <laughs> an old podcast i used to watch well we try to recreate the same thing is that same, right yeah the same feeling like I'll exactly the same thing. yeah okay i don't know if if anyone of the viewers remember the sunset uh, heights podcast but it looked <laughs> almost identical <laughs> i mean i don't think you changed a single thing <laughs> This isn't really Johnny Carson moving from New York to L.A. It's kind of... Well, you got to keep the seat. You got to give them what they want, you know? That is what they want. I mean, you did move the waters, at least. That was a nice touch. I mean, you know, it's all angles. Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) Well, I got to tell you, it's it's great to be here, dude. (laughs) I'm so pumped to have (laughs) you guys. I haven't seen you in a long time, It's been so long. I've been back and forth. You've been doing day mics, haven't you? I have. (laughs) They're awkward. Yeah, they're terrible. (laughs) They're so awkward. I prefer my mics at night. How's it feel getting out of the mic and then, like, the sun just immediately on your face? It's it's terrible. Like, you, because, like, I feel like comedy's like a night thing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't know why. Where have you been going during the day? During the day, go to Hollywood, uh, what's it called? The Cafe. no, fourth, fourth, uh, fourth wall, fourth ca- wall yeah, cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go there, Hollywood comedy. Yeah, there, I mean, there's really only a couple. Yeah, there's not many. No, mo- like the, the earliest, even some started like six to seven. Yeah, I do like the improv mics though; they're fun. You've been going to the improv? Ones? Yeah, I've gone to a couple. Hell yeah, the, man! They're fun. Us this. In the main room or the this uh, what's the the lab work lab works room? No, at no 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 at uh, this like the, it, one of the early ones. It's like eleven o'clock in the morning at the really? ho- Hollywood comedy. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the improv. No, oh. no, no, no. Oh. No, improv mic, like... Oh, like okay, they, you know, I got like you, they I got give you. you the suggestion, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to the... To the no, the, I, have, I have not. Are you, are you improv? allowed back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rumor has it that you've been banned. Oh, uh, w- look, I never got... like a, It wasn't on paper, <laughs> but uh, I sort of banned myself, to be honest, there for a while. But uh, no, I've been hitting the Laugh Factory mic instead. Um, nice. What he's referring to is a massive bomb that I had <laughs> at the improv. It was. Which was totally everyone else's fault and not my own. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the, audience, well, well, the well, audience. I heard the audience was terrible well, that day. Well, walk walk, yeah, them, that walk and, them through what that mic was. Yeah. Because from what I hear, it was different than the normal, uh, 
a normal jig no. they have there. Nah, we don't need to get into my oh, improv. Let's go, Mom. baby. Let's go. We baby. don't need to talk about that. But I've my been. friends who listen literally texted me. They're like, we want to hear about some of your bombs. Like, Is that talk, right? Yeah. Show me the text. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the text. And I was like, text. I've got the perfect guest for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been hitting the Laugh Factory open mic, though, and... Uh, it's been going good, and I think you should go. Are you free on uh, Tuesdays? It's at such a weird time. Yeah. Like it's some, maybe I'll be able to. It's Five thirty to six thirty. It's so random. Like I'm, I've I haven't been able to on a Tuesday yet. It's it's pretty uh, bad, <laughs> but <It's> pre- <laughs> <laughs> they let some creatures crawl into that. Place, yeah, they do. But. Well, Tyler Strauss did well, and he's mm-hmm. like. I don't know. Like he was trying to explain it to me, and I don't get it. But like no, he, we, we were there like for a few the, of his yeah, yeah, callbacks. He, he got stuff. a few callbacks and got a showcase spot and did very well. Really that, funny. That's dude. just because he's. Hilarious. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, but it's like the whole our whole thinking of because we used to go to the improv, Mike, every week, mm-hmm. and it's held at the same time as the Laugh Factory. Mike. Oh, it's tough. They're both five thirty to six thirty, so you, it, it's, it forces you to choose, and of course, everybody chooses the improv. Yeah, because it's better. Uh, but our thinking was well, the improv's like packed, packed out. Well, also, don't full people house. Wait, people wait like for hours for the laugh factory. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the lineup at noon because it like if anyone's watching that doesn't know how it works, it's like the first ten people in line. Uh, they get up and then it's uh, a couple of callbacks and, the, and then it goes straight to a bucket. Yeah, and they'll pull like nine. Oh, 10. that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the improv, I forgot, I forgot about the bucket. The improv's all bucket for an hour, and I think they do two callbacks or something like that you get five, no three minutes is right? it yeah, yeah. Th- uh, three minutes two yeah. minutes at the laugh factory uh and it's got to be clean but uh okay but you got to choose one and of course everyone chooses the improv because it's better and nicer and like there's like it's packed out with all comics and it's like the toughest room yeah in in fucking la i feel like because it's just all comics trying- which is the worst people like uh yeah. terrible i feel like people listening think Oh yeah, comics though all laugh. Nope. It's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> it's really tough. So our thinking was everyone's going over here. Why not we how about we go where they're yeah. not looking? Yeah. And it's been working. We've been getting up at the Laugh Factory a lot. Oh, that's fantastic. And um I mean I've I've done great. I've fuck I bombed there. Uh but it's nice and then th- there's like a, a few other like uh good comics that we see. Um, there who are like really about it and stuff and and they're, they're they had the same kind of idea and yeah it's i see it working for them too um but I, I it's a rough mic the laugh factory one i mean you bomb with grace though when you're bombing you know it and you just go you're just like <laughs> well thank you Tom. bomb with grace I yeah think that's the uh, way that's... no that there that is there is some truth to that <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can bomb without like burning it all down you yeah. know you can like have fun with it, but that's something that's yeah. learned. I, I I bombed with with Grace last night. I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You did actually. Yeah, I, I I went up and just the crowd. I'm not blaming the crowd. I'm just saying I wanted to pull up my phone and play a recording of a show and being like, "This is they they laugh at this. <laughs> They've laughed before. I promise. I these, swear these I'm words. funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I got two jokes in, and I was like. All right, I'm just gonna make my mouth make the shapes that the words are, mm-hmm. and then just ri- like just ride this out like a wave, and it, and, was, it was so bad. And but also some jokes weren't working, but you like laughed it off, like you're like ah whatever, I don't really care. Yeah, that comes with yeah. t- that comes with time though. I used to yeah. I used to like. Just get angry. I, I used to scorch earth bomb. Uh-huh. I used to just been like, nah, the fuck all you yeah, guys. Yeah, I've had some of those. <laughs> when you first start, it like hurts your feelings. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're like, because you think you're doing so good, and then you get a show. You're like, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. I thought it was great. The, the, mm-hmm. the same way you have to, to learn how to do like like crowd work or riffing or anything, you also have to learn how to bomb in a way that like like they don't hate you when you walk off stage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a soft yeah. landing. It's like you know those parachutes that come out when like the Apollo thing splashes into the ocean. That's what you get. That's what you have <laughs> yeah. to learn to do. Slow descent instead of just like round bam. Yeah. Also, silence is a big thing I noticed. Is because like I'll be telling a story or something, and maybe they're not like howling laughing, but they are paying attention. And oh, I'll take one of those, please. Ooh, hey. <laughs> is, that, is that from? Is that ice cold there? Yes. Ooh, sheesh. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Um, Always keeping no, the wheels right, flowing, because maybe they're not laughing, but I've noticed that they are paying attention, yeah. w- which is the next best thing. Well, it, they're yeah. not on their phone and they're not just like writing, like not yeah. paying attention. Well, yeah, me and Tony were talking. I don't know if we talked about it on the pod, but he 
<laughs> when, I know, like, I know what you guys talked yeah, about when you're on the podcast, football <laughs> for an hour and a half. Well, well, I mean, yeah, we were go- we was come rolling up to the Super Bowl, and all he could take, he brought up the Chiefs for like, like probably twenty times. Oh yeah, no, no I watched no, it. it. Wait, it was, Nick, it was, Nick, it was, it Tony, was the, it was are you the serious? Week, the week leading up, you know, that's not like him at all. <laughs> But uh, no, we were saying. Well, because I told him that he, because uh, he always bails on jokes on stage. Yeah, yeah. But I, I tell like everybody's listening to yes. what you're like. You think no one's laughing, but you haven't gotten to a funny part yet. Like mm-hmm. everybody's on board with what. You're, like everybody's like listening and waiting for where it's going. Yeah, and they're like, I'm not doing it. Hey, hey yo, I'm not doing this. <laughs> it's because <laughs> like, to, Nick to Tony has this like thing about him that he hasn't realized yet. And he's got this something that draws people in. Oh, he's hilarious. When he starts, he's so funny. When he starts talking, people pay attention. It's, it's mm-hmm. like it's like a magnet. Yeah, and he doesn't. He hasn't realized it yet, and he will. But he thinks, "Oh my God, it's it's silent." Exactly. I, I, I need to move on. Uh, uh, doors. Don't have doors. <laughs> I'll I'll do the doors joke again. That's how he thinks. The doors work. Nick, stop doing doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he so he he just he bails, but people are really he, he's very engaging. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and that yeah, that's great. Like you, yeah, you just have to get used to silence mm-hmm. because your like your setups are not the funny part. Yeah, yeah. That, also, it's like is, it's like be comfortable. Like you know where you're going. Just kind of let it exactly let it go. That that took a long time to. Uh, like get used to though because like in the very beginning you're just like if if they're not laughing right now Mm -hmm. i'm bombing Mm -hmm. and it's uh, we do this bit on our podcast we we have this list uh called comedy Mm -hmm. sins yeah and and somewhere on that list i forget where it's called be okay with just it being quiet it doesn't mean you're bombing Mm -hmm. it just means you're setting stuff up yeah and and if it if you do a joke and it doesn't work don't beat the shit out of yourself yeah like oh oh, that's oh you guys didn't like that oh that sucked (laughs) fuck me oh what else what else what else what else what else you know yeah, it's like it's you didn't work. Whatever, we'll just fucking move on. Exactly, it's not no, a big deal. The only person that's gonna ever think about it again is you. Yeah, like yeah. nobody's coming out of that room being like, "Wow, that joke." <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget how bad that joke was. <laughs> also, dude, speaking of uh, other comics remembering things, like uh, comics have this uh, weird idea. They're like. This one person heard me do this joke two weeks ago. I can't do it again. Uh-huh. It's like they don't remember you, dude. That's, yeah. that's in my head it, all the time. All right, any, any you gotta time, yeah. It, anytime I used to think about that, I used to uh, I I tell myself I'd be like, all right, what was his full set the last time you saw him? Mm-hmm. And you couldn't remember a single joke. Nope. It's not like people aren't looking at you the way like you're not that important. No, yeah, because they're you're not nobody. Yeah. You're, cause every, we're pretty self centered people. I feel like. Oh yeah. Comics. We're pretty focused on ourself mm-hmm. yeah. um, some more positively than others and yeah it's like dude just do this do this shit work this shit out yeah that's another thing do we live together i can't remember half the jokes you did last night thank god <laughs> 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 thank god i had a rough set last night where'd you go uh, hollywood comedy yes that's a rough room a lot of times yeah yes. i like it there i like it there though because it's a lot of like it's it's always such a random group of people. Mm-hmm. Like there's like sometimes there's like one person that you know, but barely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of like where do these people come from? Uh-huh. And it's I, like, I like that. It's cool, but it's also it's like how come I never see any you guys right? anywhere else? Yeah, where are they going? It's weird. But then there's like the opposite side of the coin is like you go to Badger and Jam, yeah, and, and, and it's the same five people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then oh, there Badger and Jam, you really can't like do the joke again because it's like, oh, it's the same people. But yeah. then mics like that is are great because then you then you are then you know you can try new stuff. Yeah, because yeah. you know like, that's that's my favorite mic to do new material. Yeah, because it's like it's the best crowd. It's I don't know what it is about that particular mic, but it attracts like really quality open yeah. micers and so like it's the, it's the best of the best yeah. yeah so if you try new stuff there and it works you're like oh i'm on to something yeah and you go to the hollywood comedy the next night and it eats shit and then you i'll tell you though badger ain't nightstand badger ain't been hitting lately I know. Mm. <laughs> i'll be I honest know. i've heard not since <laughs> heard. not since the king left no it hasn't <laughs> yeah dude. oh god i know i'm not pointing any fingers but I know one day I'll be back, dude. That we we talk one, about that the return. We the talk return. about that all the return of the king. <laughs> we talk about that all the time. Like Wednesday night at Badger, it was like an institution. I don't want to play it up too much, but it really was like this thing. Like it was the, so fun when you were hosting. It was mm-hmm. like once a week, late night, nine to ten. Wednesday night. Wednesday night, you would host. It'd be great energy. 
every literally every single time for like a year and a half straight. And we all go down to the comedy store, get drinks, and hang out after. Yeah, it was so fun. Dude, the slotted would be full, and then there would be people showing up. Like, can I just? Can, <laughs> yeah. Did anybody drop? Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, they would. They wouldn't even wait to like refresh. They'd go to the place and be like, "Please, did yeah. someone yeah. drop off?" Well, they yeah, or they'd text me, and I'd be like, "Of course, yeah, whatever." So, like, yeah, sometimes, say, well, yes. sometimes, yeah, well, yeah, too many times. Yeah, I know. I know. Sometimes, I know. Sometimes like a two-hour show. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, can I get a spot on the nine to ten forty-five? That'd be <laughs> yeah. that'd be nice. It's like, dude, it's too late. We gotta go to the store. But like, those nights were so fun because oh, they were my such, favorite because it times. was so packed yeah mm -hmm. like i like it like there was it was there was like a buzz in the room uh -huh. it felt like like I, I i loved it it was so fun to do it those was, were my favorite times it was the best mic of the week every week for as long as you did it it was so fun was and i keep time. going back to badger uh like chasing that yeah but i haven't <laughs> found it it's, it, yeah, it, it's, it's it, different there it's, it's not uh, hidden i've been there a couple times since it's fun it's, it's Look, never it's, packed. It's still mm -mm. fine. It's it's still one of the one of the best mics in like the Hollywood area. Agreed. But, but it's a good room. Well, it's so I think I think it's one of the things is because it's so small. Small that everybody like if you're if somebody's on their phone like their face it's their face is clearly glowing. Mm -hmm. Like everybody has to listen and has to like yeah. It's uh, sm sorry. Small. What were you saying? I cut you off totally. I wasn't saying anything. Oh, okay. I was just, I, I was just vehemently <laughs> agreeing with you. Small dark room, parking lot. Oh, the parking right down the road from the comedy store. Yeah, it's, it's you can't. It's very hard to beat. It was perfect down to the last detail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really was, man. Bathroom in there, great. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, how, how'd you like that video we made? Oh, um, it was, I've, I've shown it to a million people. <laughs> have have you? Oh, I'm dude. gonna I'm gonna link it in the uh, in the in the episode info. Can you yeah, can uh, play we, it? Can we put it on <laughs> right now? I haven't figured out how to do that. That's yet. okay. Can't pull it up on the TV right there? I could pull it up, but then I don't know how to put it in the video. No, you know I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Yeah, how to do no, that. I'll yeah, link yeah, it. I'll, I'll link it in the in the no, you, so, description. So, so that all came from it was it was the last Wednesday night Badger and Jam, and it was like it was like 1 a.m. Ryan and I were in our apartment. I was sitting on my bed, just drunk, just scrolling through like videos. And that video of uh, of Doctor Cox like melting down from scrubs came out, and I was like, because he was the whole point of the the video was that he was grieving. He was like he lost someone that he really cared about. And I was yeah. like, and in my in my drunken stupor, I was like, we just lost Tom. Uh, it's like Tom's it's, gone. It's the same thing. And so I I suggested to Ryan that we do that, and then um. And then he easily in an afternoon did it, right? It was yeah. real simple to put together. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> Everybody that I've shown is like, this must have taken <laughs> so long to do. It took way too long. <laughs> but it, Definitely worth it. Oh, it took it, me like four or five the funny, hours. The funniest part is when you guys, when you like dub over <laughs> whatever they say. <laughs> hey, your Jokes. Hey, your <laughs> bombs. Set. <laughs> your set's not over. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. One of the lines was like, he didn't have to die, newbie, and it was like he didn't have to bomb, newbie. <laughs> like, just he could have waited. He could have waited another week for his jokes. <laughs> and it was just so poorly. And dude, literally, instead of like cutting the audio, Ryan was like, he had spent so much time working on it. He was like, like he called me over there. He was like, just say jokes and bomb, and I'll just toss it in there, and then it'll be done. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sick of working on this stupid video. It took so. It was long. a great idea. Now I hate editing it. But I've well, I've rewatched it so many times. Just so have I. I've shown everybody. <laughs> oh, good. Show everybody, dude. And it's like, and sometimes I'll be watching it and I'll get lost in it. And I'm like, the music's going, and I'm like, I start to get like a little emotional, actually. And <laughs> right. then I realize, oh, this is stupid. This is <laughs> like this is stupid. My favorite part though was, and I didn't know I was gonna do this when I started the video. Was making Nick to Tony the nurse. <laughs> oh, so funny! <laughs> that was a spur of the moment. So funny! He comes I, out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, and you don't expect it. And I, like, I was editing, and he doesn't come in for like a minute. I think it's a long time. And then I got to the point where the nurse was on the screen, and it just—I didn't even have to think about it. I went, "It's Nick." It has Tony. to be. It has to be Nick. And it's just his profile pic of his big <laughs> fucking Italian his big smile. Stupid smile. <laughs> I remember yeah. when he showed me that and Nick came up, I had to make him pause it. I had to, like, I had to sit down. I was like, of course, Nick's Carla. <laughs> Nick's the of nurse. Of course, Nick's the nurse. You know, he's the first, he was the host of the first mic I ever went to. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Where, Badger? At Badger, yeah. Oh, wow. Is that how y'all met? Yeah, I Damn. was hosting. And I went and I went in there and I was like, because I didn't know how mics were. And I was like, is this a BYOB? <laughs> and he was like, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'll be right back. Is there a liquor store around? And I walked down the street to Liquor Locker and got uh, a 12-pack of Bud Light. Yeah. 
and then I came in late. That's very on brand, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just for the for what hour? Yeah, well, you know, I had to. It was I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Also, some guy came in playing. <laughs> It's called the jaw harp, and he was. It was oh, like, I know what a jaw yeah. harp is. Those are so annoying. And, oh yeah. my god, this guy gets on stage and he like try. He does, it was. I, I. This is my first mic, so I'm like, I guess I have people. Anybody goes to a mic. Yeah. Like, I guess it's just not not just comedy. It's he was like do he was like it was like a meditation thing for five minutes. He's like everybody be silent. Did he get laughs? But, <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> yeah, in the parking, when, in the parking lot, yeah. when he wasn't around, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took off his shoes. It was very awkward. Oh, um, dude, no, dude. But yeah, that was the that was my first. What was your first mic? You, well, wait, did you do good though? I crushed. It was great. Did yeah, you? Uh, yeah, I actually did real well. You got it on a recording? No, I did not. I didn't. Damn. I didn't know that I was supposed to record. Like for. Like, your first i didn't like my first I didn't, I didn't, what were your expectations so you you so you you were pro, oh, you, I, well i thought immediate fame to be honest is was, that right I, I was like well i'm gonna crush one it. and done i was like i'm yeah. gonna crush this mic and then and now, now i'm like, chris farley so. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> you're in the part the apartment you google, you google open mics well i'd i'd been thinking about it for a while like okay. a lot of people have to, had told me to do stand up and i like yeah, and i never really considered it and then right before covid i had gone to mics just to watch to like just scope out, like just to see what it was like. I, I mm-hmm. didn't sign up or anything. I just went to watch. Which is an underrated thing to do. I've seen comics like at the Laugh Factory go up on stage and they're like, "This is my first mic. I don't. I just. I don't know. I'm just here." Why would you? Pick and they that bomb. One too? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like, dude, do some research. I did the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, went, went to, to a mic to, just like. to watch. Yeah. Because I like in my head, everybody is crushing. So I, I was like, well, if they're going to be so good. But then I went. And I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I, yeah. I, I think I can do I, this. I had, I had the exact but, opposite kind of thing. Like back when Ryan and I started in Nashville, I was like really intimidated about getting up. And then like you see the people that go to open mics and you're like, oh, no, that's, this is ass. Like, yeah. I, could prob- yeah. I could probably do this if I worked like a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, they'd been go- and they had been doing it for so long. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, I can, mm-hmm. I can probably get this going. But yeah, so I this was like right before COVID. Like, the, I, like my plan was okay. Like, I'm gonna start doing this, mm-hmm. and then COVID happened, and then so and I didn't know anybody like in the stand up scene at all. So like, I was like, well, I don't know any mics, and I'm sure. Well, I, in my head, I was like, I'm sure everything's shut down. So I started after COVID. Right on. Like, well, yeah. Well, also uh, another thing about not knowing anybody in stand up. Another thing that Badger did, like we met you at Badger. We met yeah. like all, we met Luke at Badger. Yeah, we true. Met, all all of our good friends in the comedy scene right now, we met through Badger. It's like yeah. it's like the only through thread of like this whole open mic thing. That is true. That, that was yeah. that was another big thing that that Badger and Jam did. It, it introduced us to like other people around the L.A. comic huh. scene. I mean, think about how many people. We we all know now and are friendly with that we uh, we didn't know but until Badger yeah. happened mm. Wednesday nights with you hosting yeah I, well I, I, so like Whitney Rand I was talking to her she's like yeah I started stand up to meet people like mm-hmm. in, my, in my head I didn't like I have like I know I when I right when I moved here like I had a pretty big group of people that I already knew from Chicago so like I didn't really need a group and I thought like I kind of thought stand up friends would be like work friends mm. like you know you like. You see them and you're like, "Hey, what's up?" But mm. then you don't hang out. Clearly, um, <laughs> um, here we are. And I was so wrong about that. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, well, it's, it's like want- it's a community, and it's like people I love and want to hang out with. Mm-hmm. And I did not see that coming at all. I don't know why I didn't, but I just did. I just thought it would be like it would be cordial, and then that's it. I wanted that so bad. What when we moved here? Because I same thing. You know, all my friends are back home in Nashville. Tennessee. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know anybody. We moved here together moved here during COVID, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, August 2020. We started out doing <laughs> like, wow, yeah. right in the and, 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 and Here's the funny thing about that: when we when we signed the lease on our apartment, it was like six months out, and we were like, "No, but by August, it'll this will all blow over. It'll be fine." Yeah. It was like a year I, still. I thought it was going to be two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was it was awful. It was really bad. But we, anyway. we didn't we didn't know anybody, Mm-mm. and uh, but I, that's what I wanted. I wanted to find like a group. Yeah, and of comics who are about it and who really want to make something happen, as yeah. uh, not not just on stage, but with uh, podcasts and making videos and stuff. And um, you know, you see people when you go to mics and you want to make the connection. It's harder for me 
God, I wish I had what you had. <laughs> God, I wish I had what Tom Kelly has. It's uh, it takes like thirty interactions for me to really like, be, like be, let the yeah. thing connect. I come, Tom, I come in hot. Tom could could have a two hour long conversation with the stump of a tree and then uh -huh. come back and they'd be best friends. <laughs> yeah. God, you you. It's, you're the, you're uh, one of the most charismatic people I've ever met, it's and so I so amazing. I so don't have that. Yeah, I don't know. You're you, just, you're so likable and friendly, and oh my god, thank I'm, you guys. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a little bit more reserved. Yeah, and uh, well, most people are, and I mean, I I guess I was. I grew up with a with like my mom is super like the complete opposite of me. She's like I, Tom. I don't know where you got that. Well, I mean, my dad is pretty outgoing. But I'm like I'm way more obnoxious than everybody. Like my whole family is like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like I don't like I don't know. <laughs> I just our moms are uh, more of the life of the party, best friends in two seconds kind of people. Yeah, and our dad's more sort of the uh, reserved, get shit done, whatever you want to yeah. call it. That sort of. So it's like the best of both. I can do both, but it's it's all an effort. It, it takes work. It's like yeah. it's like trying. So you okay in. Nashville was your first mics. What mm -hmm. was that? What are Nashville mics? Okay, so Nashville, there is one club, Zanies. Yeah, and there's great club. And if you really wanted to, if you really tried, you could get up two times a week. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's it's not that's it. Yeah, wow. there there's not a lot like comedy wise there unless you're like you know an out of town established guy coming in to do mm -hmm. you know three nights of Zanies and then flying out. Um, but there is this one really cool club. Uh, called Third Coast um, in, where was it? It was in that old train station. That yeah, the old American uh, Music Works, some train station yeah, some building. Old, yeah, it was some old burnt out. like The American Pickers, that TV show, they, they owned the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just full oh, of, I was at that store. Yeah, yeah. I right? know exactly where, is it wow. where their store is? Yeah, yeah. it's the old okay, train station. I know exactly where you're right, talking so, about. So that's I've where it is. And it, it's this really tiny club, like a hundred. Tiny club in a giant bailed building. Yeah, like a hundred people mm -hmm. there. And then every Monday at 10 o'clock, um, in the afternoon or at night, whatever they, uh, <laughs> they had their open mic and it was, um, it was like, uh, it was like a 15 people max or something. Mm -hmm. you, you, it, it was first come first serve basically. Yeah. And, um, you put your name, you 30 people, 40 people would show up. You'd all put your name in a bucket and then they'd pull like 15 or something. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And, and then, so, but the worst part was. They pulled it at the beginning. That's what I was going to bring up. So they 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 call oh. all like 15, 20 people that were going up. Yeah. And so you just sit there and like count on your notes. And if you didn't get pulled, you're like, oh, well, I guess I'm just sitting here. And then half the room yeah. gets up and leaves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's nice for that half of the room. It's <laughs> nice for them, but shit for if you got yeah, exactly, called. Exactly. Yeah. So True. It's, which is a little different. It was a great club, though. And uh, but what we noticed immediately, there's a cap to what you can accomplish in stand up in Nashville. I mean, yeah, it's music city. It's yeah, not, it's not stand up city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. It is music city. Yeah. Uh, the music just blankets stand up. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. So, it's yeah. we our thought was uh you know, we we were doing it. We did it for maybe a year, but like once a week maybe. Yeah. For 8 months. Probably. And also like that once a week you wouldn't you wouldn't get called for 3 weeks in a row. Uh -huh. so, so you you'd go up once a month and yeah. then like 3 times a oh, month yeah, and then none not... a month. Yeah. And so it was very sporadic. So we were our thinking was like should okay, we immediately love this and there's something there's some potential. And we wanted to get good quickly mm -hmm. and we immediately recognized that like you can't do that in a place like Nashville yeah. with stand up. So it was either we had two options. It was either uh stay in our hometown and do it as much as we can until we get good and are comfortable with moving somewhere like Los Angeles or New York or something, or just fucking Hell jump yeah. off the cliff. Just dr Hell absolutely yeah. drown. That's in the, it. that's the way to do and, it. As and, an open yeah. micer. Like that's the way to do it. I'm yeah. telling you, just dive in. we did it 20 times before and then yeah. we moved yeah. just dive in that's yeah. the way to do it it was very yeah. it was very much like a like jump and then hope that you can build the parachute fast enough uh -huh. before you hit the floor yeah santino said it best he said i just wanted to drown in it yeah yeah and uh, that's we were, what you have to do uh-huh like like no safety net 
None. Yeah. And dude, even also at the yeah. hardest time in yeah. human history. But yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Truly. Also, I'll tell you what. The we got country's a, we, locked down. We, we got a fantastic deal on an apartment here. We sure did. <laughs> And also the other thing about the apartment, you have a great apartment, is that we, but but we were like we didn't really know L.A. We we did a road trip out here once, but we were looking at places in like Long Beach and like, like up in the valley. Like we didn't really know where everything kind of happened, and we just happened upon this one apartment that was right in the wow. middle of Hollywood. In you the got real lucky. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you accidentally lived in Long Beach. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it'd be over, dude. <laughs> dude. Good luck be doing stand. It'd be over. Dude, like we were looking at, <laughs> we we were looking at some apartments in the valley, and we we're like, it's not that far. No, it's drive. so far because yeah, okay, you're looking at a map. It's like, oh, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? Yeah, yeah just pop wow, on you down. Guys, you guys got. Did you go go but, to Mike's when right when you moved here? Did you find stuff? Well, there. Well, there. No, were, not for a while. No, nah, because everything was shut down. We were well, doing. I like, know that they were doing. Se- like now, I know we were doing. doing we were like, doing secret ones. We were doing Mike's on like this, uh, like on a on sidewalk. On a sidewalk. Where where yeah. it, where every you go to do a punchline like da da da, uh, and then a semi truck would go oh and just <laughs> and no one no one heard what you said, so you just bomb. You want to talk about the feeling of like regret and like oh my god, what did I do? I fucked up. Why did I move here? Sidewalk, Mike. <laughs> once a week, dude. I, 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 I that I, sounds so horrible. I remember th- th- there. Were, I want to throw up thinking about it. Th- there were a cu- there were a couple of nights in like early 2021, like a couple of months before everything opened back up, that I would like try to go to sleep, and I was just staring at the ceiling, like, did I just fuck up my entire life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, did I just make the worst decision ever? And it only got better once. Uh. Obviously, everything started to open back up, but sure, also, yeah. also we started to meet people, uh, and it was just wow. sk- it skyrocketed once we met you and Nick and Elise, Luke, like everyone, like Badger, like yeah, going to the comedy store, like that was the highlight. And dude, and and once it started taking off, it it took off yeah. for us as far as like mics go, because like to put it in perspective, back in Nashville, we were talking about like you could get up once or twice a week whatever you could realistically like like tomorrow starting at noon you could get like six mics in if mm-hmm. you wanted to you can't do that yeah in place every like day Nashville. every every day. single day every single day of the month all the way down and that you know like the more that you're doing the better you're getting and so that was kind of the philosophy of going out and then very quickly you start to meet people you start to get shows yeah and then you're on a show and you're like holy shit it's a bringer let me bring this a uh, buddy and then, yeah and then someone's your but you know your buddy's like, I have a show, and I'll like, I'll go to yours if you go. I'll, you come totally. to mine. I'll go to yours, and then you start, and then you start like going into the clubs, and uh, you, you know, you start to. We started getting into Ha Ha's com- uh, comedy club, doing their open mic. We did a few shows there, and then you learn about like the Laugh Factory and the Improv open mic, and the 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 Comedy Store open mic, and then uh, you, all of a sudden you get potluck, potluck at the Comedy Store. You and got it yeah. like the first. No, I did. I so he did. Yeah, so, yeah. So I remember they they put out an Instagram post and they were like, "Hey, potluck's back now." The first cause, one because COVID's over and the, and they changed it because uh, I'd never done it before COVID. But from what I understand, you had to like like two hundred people would gather and sign up in person. Yeah, and they were like, "Nah, it's just an email now." And I was like, "I got three minutes. Fuck it." And so yeah, I, I shot them an email. And then that Monday, they were like, "Hey, you were picked. You're going up." And I went up there and crushed it. It was yeah. a good, it was a good set. first time ever at the comedy store. I felt like a king. Unreal. Yeah. And then you want to talk, and then you think back to Sidewalk Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you go, and you know, like, of course, your buddy, like, tries to sneak a picture of you on the stage that you yeah. post, you know? And of you're, course. you're just like, dude, I made it. The, it yeah. the only way this gets better is once I lose a day job and can make, yeah. like, this my well, that's actual dream. Dude, I, I remember feeling that. I, I, mm-hmm. did, I did one open mic in the OR. I was like, I, this is it. Yeah. I, 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 I've, I have arrived. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. And then, so I, cool. then, and then I went to work the next morning. I was like, fuck, yeah. dude. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> fuck, man. Yeah, but you always have that thought. You're like, okay, I could get there again. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. You know? I think I've done it. Uh, I've done the potluck uh, three times. You only get up really once a year. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Once every well, yeah, nine they months. They remember who gets it. Like they, I think they keep a list. Well, no, it's not that. It's right? that it's so competitive. They must get like fucking four hundred oh, emails yeah. every Friday. Also, there's like a a nine week cool off period. Like once you get it, you, you can't, can't sign, sign yeah, up. That's what I mean. Yeah, you can't yeah. sign up for. Yeah. 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 If you get it twice in a year, that's like max. Yeah. You're, you're lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever gotten the potluck? No. No. Do you email every not, Friday? Not I haven't. I, I've been slacking off. Okay, on well then it. that's Dude, why. I think back. No, I did right when it started. You gotta I every never, single I, Friday. Then. You just gotta hammer it out. 
I don't, I don't think of it until late, and then I'm like, yeah, set yeah, an alarm. Up. Set an alarm. I have an alarm on my phone that's like pot, potluck sign up. Done. Mm-hmm. Twelve to Friday. Fridays twelve to one. You have an hour to an get hour, the yeah. get the email through. Did you ever do Zoom mics? Never. What? You've never heard of those? Are you out yeah. of your mind? I mean, no, I, 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 like, I, I just remember we weren't people, even. I remember at, people talking about doing Zoom mics. That, and that, that must have been before our, so horrible. our time. Yeah. That was before we even knew anybody or knew that that was an option. Yeah. And then like once that's that, probably a good thing that stopped and then we <laughs> yeah. started, you know, it was one of those. Did you? No, no, no. I just heard about people complain. Like when you brought up sidewalk, Mike, that yeah. I thought, about, like, uh, I thought uh, about how horrible zoom, but I, I did hear about some good mics that were like outside. Like there was a garage mic that somebody had like that hmm. got that would like that was packed. Oh, was that the, the one time. in the Valley? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, and then, and then uh, Roger and uh, yeah, they, they Roger started, Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. started their funny own mic in the yard. I think very they, funny. I think their dude. mic is done. Roger's uh, big chillin'. Yeah, big chillin'. Very funny guys. They run that. Mike Sassens, I think, is a part of that, right? Is he? I think. I mean, I, I, or maybe I, I just I, see I've him. I've seen him there all the time. Yeah. every time I went. Mm-hmm. What I, was I, the name I, of that place in the garage before they did the backyard? It was. Uh, I think it was. Uh, Bah, I can't. For, I can't. Yeah, think of it. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, it, like, but you had to have known all the people uh-huh. before. Yeah. Like, you can't just find that. No. No, you know? that was like a recommendation. Yeah. Like, uh, that's also my least favorite part of any podcast is people going, "What was that called?" Right. Uh-huh. I hate that. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of those like no no sign up slotted. Like, you, I think you just showed up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just show up, get up. Yeah. But dude, a Zoom mic. Oh my! I can't even. A work from home mic. Oh my that, god! How, how does that even work? I don't even. I can't even wrap my head around that. <laughs> Just tell jokes and then, and then there's like the delay. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then somebody like coughs during the punchline. So, oh so, my god! <laughs> your what? Your Wi-Fi cuts out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh horrible. I remember the the. Dumb I might have jumped off a bridge if I did. <laughs> I, was, I was close. A yeah, we times. wouldn't know Ryan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh I was a couple days away from sprinting across the 405. Oh yeah. But uh, no, the dumbest thing I remember from uh sidewalk mics was that little you remember the mic condom they put on I there? I hated it. Cuz they were like, "Nah, this will this will do things. This will happen." Uh-huh. How this will make a difference, yeah. How embarrassing. They yeah. they had basically put like one of these on the mic. Yeah. It's just stupid. Like those were dark times, Harry, dark times. Yeah, I re- oh yeah, they had spray. Yeah, my, they would I spray fucking Febreze I do remember that. on the mic, and then it would be cutting out because it's it's like <laughs> it's wet, it's liquid, <laughs> it's saturated, electrocuting yeah. The, yeah. the comedian. This is a great idea, but Who hey, was, look, uh, look, that, those were dark times. We're past them. <laughs> it's better now. It's better now. God, I'm having fun now, dude. Uh, right? It rocks. Once now you get it rocks. Ro- once you get rolling, like, yeah, yeah. Th- things and are, we have a good crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I enjoy do. the crew. Yeah, things are really like heating up now. Like. um like it used to be, like people back home in Tennessee, they ask me like, "How's it going?" And I have to lie, like, "Great, like this is just fucking awesome." There's Best a, decision I ever made. There's a condom <laughs> on the mic, and I can't buy groceries, you know. And uh, but no, now like things are actually starting to cook. Like you know, we're getting more shows. Um, you know, we're meeting people. That you know, our the, our podcast just had 103 episodes. Yeah, Let's that's right. Go. God, we've been doing that for so long. Mm. We it's got so we fun. got in pretty early. You did. It's so fun to come on your pod, by the way. Well, come back the, on. By the way, their yeah. podcast is called Bombing. Hell yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Bombing Podcast. Bombing yeah. Podcast, folks. 103 the, episodes. The number one po- podcast called Bombing. That's right. The <laughs> number one uh, open mic co- uh, comedian podcast Rules. in LA. It's so fun. Send us an email, folks. Bombingpodcast at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Please. Uh, we do the email segment at the end of every episode. Yeah, we've done one a week every single week. For a hundred, awesome. uh, hundred and three weeks, man. That's a lot of weeks. That's a long time. Who who is your first comedian that you liked? Like that that not necessarily got you into comedy, but Bri- like Brian Regan. Oh yeah, you uh, yes, he's so funny. He's the the best. No one is funnier than Brian Regan, and even your favorite comic would say the same thing. I mean, I, Brian Regan is so funny. Yeah, I, I, well, he's clean. Uh-huh. I love that. See, I love clean co- comedians. Yeah. I don't know why. So, like, I do think dirty comedy is funny, but like, I don't know. Yeah, I enjoy it all. I tend towards. Yeah, it's same. Well, also, uh, do you think part of that is like, uh, like, like growing up when we were like kids, kids back in Tennessee, um, we take the the bus to like church camp mm-hmm. once a summer, 
And he was one of the only comedians that they would like play on the TV. <laughs> You're allowed the, to listen because he, yeah, because yeah, he was clean. He was one of the first people that we uh, like got exposed to comedy yeah. wise. And dad, our dad also really liked him. We'd play him on road trips. We'd go from Nashville. We had like relatives in uh, D.C., so we'd drive from Nashville to D.C. and you, to, you know to kill time, you throw on the the Comedy Channel, and yeah, there's yeah. a lot of Brian Regan, uh, a lot of Seinfeld. Um, yeah. And at that time, we were like little kids, so like he, like dad, enjoyed it, but he would also play it because of that. Yeah. But then, like now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like you know, even like our uh, mom and dad, like they like you know Louis Burr. I mean, oh, you know, yeah. the people. Mine's for Burr. sure. The, yeah. the the guy that got me into stand up was Bill Burr. I j- just he. He's he, so funny. Him him. He was the first person that I saw like in media that sounded as angry as I felt all the time. And like <laughs> as upset because like I, I go through the world just constantly upset about ev- every situation I get into every single day. And he was he was the first person to be like, no, and a fucking another thing. You know, and he, he was like that mad, too. And I was like, oh, I like this guy. Oh, he's right. so good. He's good. He, he is, is good. like like I whenever I think that i like have a good like i have a good set mm-hmm. and then i go see like i'll like i'll just watch somebody special or i'll go to the comedy store and see something like and then I'm, I, my feelings are hurt <laughs> <laughs> i'm like god they're so well you good. can't you can't compare you know your bomb at badger to, to <laughs> yeah, a, a, a bill burr set in the belly room. <laughs> just crushes yeah. yeah no he is really he's good. so good yeah he, he was the, he was the first guy that i was like oh like someone else is that uh, yeah perturbed all the time and he's got a way he can he can he can just talk about sitting in silence mm-hmm. like he sits in more like that philadelphia set he had yeah that was big the, who, the audience was like booing who, was it joey diaz no it wasn't him it was someone else but i forget his name but i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah and he, uh, he, he just went out and like eviscerated him but it's it's not even that it's like like he he was just as mad as I was about like like the guy in front of you that's trying to return oh, yeah. a dollar and a half worth of pairs <laughs> yeah. at Vaughn's. It's like let's I, I got two items. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Will you move it? Let's go. I'll give you two dollars. That is little okay. That is my least favorite. Uh, I, standing like I am very calm, cool, collect, normal. Yeah. Like in every situation. Yeah. Standing in line at the grocery store, I li- I want to murder I, I, I hate being That's, trapped in a line. I think, I, it's I think so about bad. this a lot. I think about this a lot. I think I think that little corral reminds me of like a cow on their way to slaughter. It makes I just get so angry when I'm in line. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's horrible. And dude, and the worst, I'll tell you the worst is when like the the person in front of you it's just some lady with the cart that's not from the fucking store, and she doesn't know how. Yep. She never has the cart that's from the store. No, it's, it's, never. It's, it's hers. She bought it. It's one of those her. wheelie things that they go across yeah. the street with the big where, page. Yeah. Where did she get the cart where? from, though? I do. And, yeah. and, and where did you get that cart <laughs> from? They, they they don't know how like the card works. I've seen them pull out money uh. that's not from here before. <laughs> yeah. It's like not from here dollars. It's like, dude, I what do you do? That's not a president I on don't there. Know. I, don't I will know. buy your artichoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will uh. buy all your groceries if you just oh, fuck it's... off uh, and they're always buying something weird like a like a sauerkraut and then like a radish yeah, yeah. like what are you doing why <sighs> why come on let's go i got places to oh fucking be God. get out of and she's always four foot nothing like, yeah yeah just with, with this... the head scarf uh-huh. on oh my god that get your cart too. that i don't know where you got it from and leave you guys are reading my brain right now <laughs> i oh, oh. <laughs> I uh, I lose my mind. Yeah, <laughs> literally lose and my mind. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's always right in front of me. Yeah. Every <laughs> single time. I look yeah, at yeah. other lines. There's yeah. no short lady with the cart that's not from the store. Yeah, there. It's, she's just in front of me. It's it's like she it's like she does it on purpose. And you don't see her walk in. You don't see her in the parking lot mm. before. You don't see her walking through the aisles getting they, the stuff. They just pay her to do it. Yeah, she just <laughs> checks out and then gets right back in line. When I'm fucking there. Infuriating. <laughs> fucking goddamn. I hate grocery stores. I hate also uh, man, waiting to self checkout uh, is even because you're holding all you your stuff. You mean waiting to steal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I steal one it's item every the, time about, I, I self checkout. Do you really? I steal yeah. one item I, every I, single time. I think Ralph's can take it. Yeah. I steal one item every single time. See, I even I, I do self checkout. Honestly, I even put how many bags I took just because I'm like, I don't want to get caught. If I steal a bag, well, like, come on. I've gotten I'm caught. I'm not getting in I've trouble I've gotten for caught this. a few times. Yeah? Yes. Have you? Yeah. An like overzealous when? employee. Uh-huh. 
I've gotten caught a few For times. What? <laughs> what happened? Just not like I'll scan. You know, I, I got two Red Bulls. I'll scan one, place them both in the thing. Oh, okay. I've gotten caught, but I look like this, so I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just go, oh, duh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm fine. <laughs> well, the move is, see, I've done the clerk. You go to the clerk, but you got like a, whatever, like a case of beer on the underneath. Oh, rack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you don't pull that out. Nope. Mm-hmm. See, but then, because then if you do get caught, you'll be like, oh. I totally uh-huh. forgot. Silly me. Oh, oh no. Yeah. How could I have forgotten? Of course. <laughs> Dude, I've go. been behind. This happened last week. I was at the self-checkout, and I was stealing the one of the items that I always do. What was it? And uh, I think it was a Red Bull, actually. <laughs> and uh, there was a homeless guy who came in, and he looked like particularly homeless. <laughs> like, he was homeless. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he uh, was like... <laughs> He was like s- s- fake scanning the thing, and uh, they like just charge him. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but we're both doing the same thing. We're both stealing. But I look like this, and he looks like fucking disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. Like, like they they that's a good decoy. They're like, like, hey, you can't be stealing, and I'm like, yeah, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Hey, <laughs> hey, and I steal. Get a job, bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you act the Red Bull. Uh huh. <laughs> Can you oh yeah, please, Tom. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, you, you mind Sorry. if I throw in a Zen Ooh. on the pod? Oh, oh, th- this is a pro Zen pod. I think this will add to the podcast if I throw in a Zen. <laughs> well, they are cool now. Are you uh, you in on the Zen yet? I did. I had. I I did Zins before they were cool. Actually. What are you packing them for? I don't know. What are you packing? <laughs> I don't know. I I asked him that before. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. So, so for Zins, they're kind of weird to me because I. Like dipping, I kind I like spitting. Like deep upper dipper. You know what I mean? Like I like spitting. That was my least favorite like, part about. I dip. like when they're. I my least favorite part was when you have a spitter and it's a little bit too full and like you're all the way at the top. Oh, my least favorite part of the of dipping was the wondering, the constant wondering if it was in my teeth or not. Like when, oh, yeah. when you talk, dip sucks, and, and I, I did it a long time. Yeah, that was yeah, that was insane. I did it for so long. I yeah. smoked. I mean, I started smoking cigarettes high school and then went to dip and then uh yeah you know i never did pot though but like tobacco specifically and then like you know cigarettes are here's the problem with cigarettes is they're amazing they're perfect (laughs) like they're so nice but they're bad for you and dip is also nice but it's just, a, I hate it. It feels like it's less bad for you somehow. It's, somehow. It's probably worse. It's it probably worse, but somehow it feels like it's not that bad. I didn't right like now. how messy it was. You put it in, now your finger's dippy, and then your li- the, your lips are like. I kind of, I liked that. I liked I all know. the work Mm-mm. that went into it. I hated, like, the sick feeling you'd get if you yeah, kept yeah, it yeah. in too long. Yeah. And then you, like, you just want to throw up. Fall and- asleep with it in. Horrible. I've never. Oh, I've oh never it's done that. the worst. Oh, t- also taking a sip of your of your own of your dip spit. Oh, is, the classic drunk I never mistake. Done that. Yeah, is just you have like a, you, have a, you have an empty Coors Light. You just ha- you're hammered at two a.m. Yeah. You're like, uh, <laughs> oh, it is so bad. I used to. It's so horrible. <laughs> my buddy and I used to dip. We lived in a. I lived in a house with my buddies. Four of us in a house. Uh, so you can imagine how that went. And uh, we, <laughs> yeah. we we were all twenty one. You know. And uh, just my me and my other buddy would dip, and we would spit into the bottles, and then we would dump it into like a two liter, and it took like uh it took like t- like three months to fill up this two liter, um, of dip spit. I'm gonna throw up. And <laughs> so gross. And we just kept it in like a pa- like in under the sink, and uh, so after three months we filled it up, and we were like, oh, what should we do with it? Like. It's like a real work of art at this point. Art. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's something. Because like, each layer is kind of different color. Yeah. Oh, that's no. so nasty. It was like worse than diarrhea. You should, it was turn, worse. You should turn that into the fucking oh. CDC for, we for should, study. Dude. We should. Like, it's like it was probably corrosive, like battery acid. Like, oh, yeah. that's if I, so bad. If we spilled it, it probably would have melted through the floor. It absolutely would have. It was that bad. So, oh. so we were like, what do we do with it? So... Oh God! My buddy was like, "Oh God!" My buddy had his gun on him. He was like, "What if we just shoot it?" <laughs> so we went to the backyard because you can do that in Tennessee, 
<laughs> and he puts it on a stump of wood. Oh, my God. And he uh, shoots it, uh, Glock, and um, just it just explodes. <sighs> and we're like, that was pretty funny. Two seconds later, the wave <laughs> <laughs> of smell of stench was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> I can't express because it was sealed. <laughs> like we kept it sealed, and every time you'd open it, it'd go tss, like <laughs> like it was pressurized. Yeah, like it was carbonated or something. <laughs> it was so bad <laughs> that he threw up, and I immediately had to shit my pants. <laughs> like I ran to the bathroom and I diarrhea. Your body was like oh something's wrong. Oh my god, that yeah. is so. Disgusting. It didn't uh, go away for two days. Oh my god! And then, oh. and then a week later, uh, <laughs> he came and he mowed the lawn and it like stirred it back up. <laughs> and like it, it went into like the vent outside the house and like sucked it through the air. You got a second wave. Going. It was so oh, bad. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't dip anymore, Tom. See, I okay. So, I, oh man, I have used an old spinner and opened it and been like, woo. Yeah. And closed it. So I can't even imagine. Oh, my God. I, I have not dipped since that, that time. That is so disgusting. It ruined it for me. I think there's like maybe there's something to this. <coughs> Sorry, I want to throw up just thinking about it. Yeah, that's <laughs> so <laughs> gross. <coughs> maybe if everybody in the world did this, what, I, what we did. It would stop people from dipping. I mean, yeah, probably. You There's know? a reason why if you get your kid, like your kid gets caught, or you catch your kid smoking, yeah, you make him smoke the whole pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you catch your kid <laughs> dipping, make him save it up in a two liter and shoot it with a Glock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. and he'll never dip exactly. again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to let it ferment for a couple months. Oh, it was fermented, oh, my God, friend. That is so absolutely disgusting. Yeah, and then once you stop, like it's you know I don't know, just once you stop. Like we're it's so easy. We're it's like right. four months no cigarettes. I yeah. love that. And like once you stop, you do realize you're like, oh man, it's so much better. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, what was the hardest part? Like the probably the first two weeks. Yeah. No, the first week. Yeah. Yeah. Week. Yeah. Two weeks. It's no, the hardest. Nah, part. dude. Because you had a schedule. Like every day, like whatever time you're like, you wake up maybe have one. Uh -huh. Yeah. I used to start. Then, I used to start every day with a with a cup of black coffee, and then there's this little like outdoor balcony on our apartment. I would sit out there with a black cup of coffee and a cigarette, and that's how I would start my day. The yeah. hardest part was this, was this was Hayden's coffee too. <laughs> Are you aware of Hayden's coffee? No. Oh my god. It's dark. It's 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 it's, it's almost as acidic as that dip can. It's like a black <laughs> hole, man. Yeah. This dude, this dude's coffee is dark. <laughs> And so I, I'd start, I'd start my, my day with that. And the hardest part um, was was sitting out there with the coffee and not having a cigarette for the first three days. But if you get mm -hmm. through the first three days afterwards, just the coffee's enough. You're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, you can push through, yeah. also for the, another hard part was them just not being there. You know what I, I mean? I was just going to say that. Like, because if you have some there, you can go, you trick yourself. You're like, Okay, I won't smoke, but at least I have some. A hundred percent. At least it's there if I do do it. That that's why when we quit, I had half a pack left. I smoked I smoked camels, and uh, in the night that we that we quit, I took them over to the sink and I turned the faucet on and just wide like hosed them <laughs> mm -hmm. and threw them in the trash because I knew I knew that mm -hmm. like come two a.m. when I was hammered inevitably I'd go sift into the trash like a fiend like ah where yeah. they're, they're still in there yeah you can't just throw them away you got to destroy them yeah. yeah they can't be in the apartment yeah I mean that's how I quit vaping just recently mm -hmm. because if I don't have like I just was like I'm just not because I'm spending so much money on these yeah. dumb vapes yeah so I'm like I'm if I just don't have them you're better then, off then smoking I, cigarettes then I can't yeah. do it. Uh -huh. If I don't have it, I can't do it. Yeah. So then, like, even if I had, if I craved it, I'm like, well, I can't. I don't even have it. Yeah. That's a big thing and with like, like booze yeah. too. Like, we like to booze it up, you know. Yeah. This. Hey. Like, <laughs> and <laughs> if 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 I didn't have it, like in the apartment, I have no desire to go out to a bar to get a drink, because I, that's just not who I am. I don't want to go out to a bar and get a drink. <laughs> I want to make one in my apartment mm -hmm. and in my jammies <laughs> one and play you want and play Grand Theft Auto, and nine. <laughs> you know, yeah. but like if it wasn't in the apartment, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd go, to but it's bar. always in the apartment. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we got our vices, you know? Yeah, dude. 
I'm a good guy. Also, I go to it's work. It's nice to go get a drink. drink. It's nice to go get a drink with comedians. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dude, we, we just did that. We just went to the. Uh, we would just went out with no. We didn't have any like spots that night. We had no like comedy commitments. We just went to a bar for the first time. Yeah, like a week ago. Had a couple of whiskey sours. Probably was, had a blast. Yeah, it yeah, it was awesome. We got burritos afterwards. I forgot what it was like to go out because so much of our time, like at night, is just like it's like Mike, 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 and then like a bar at a comedy club, and then yeah. back home. I forgot what like actually just going out was like. For a minute, with all the ri- normal people, yeah. Well, because we don't, comedians. we don't live normal lives. Yeah, no. Like I've had to, ex- I've, ex- like I've, I've got coworkers that have asked me to hang out and do stuff, and I'm just like, I got, I got a spot. Yeah, I can't miss. Do they know Comedy Boulevard seven to eight? <laughs> do, do they know that you're a comedian? Yeah, they know. Uh, it took a while to, for them to drag it out of me, but yeah, just like every night is just sets and then the day is either the day job or like running errands or going to the Doing gym yeah, fucking laundry again uh-huh and uh i mean it's just we're like rodents yeah we live very odd lives it's not good for dating i've noticed well, like, it's not the best. I'm at, like, hey, what, are you gonna go bring a girl to your set? No, like, absolutely no. not. Oh, could exactly. you imagine? Exactly. I mean, yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah. No, that's why every comedian I know, sing- by most of them, are single. They're mostly single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like a girl asks you, "Hey, so when are you free?" Never. <laughs> Never. Or if you want to meet me at Comedy Boulevard, five to six. <laughs> Which I w- I'm too nice to <laughs> put that on a lady, man. Oh, God. The most interesting part about me, I would never show a chick that I was interested in. You know? <laughs> like yeah, the thing you yeah. like, you enjoy Isn't the that most. Weird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Isn't mean, a show, a show would be different, but no. an open mic, no. No, dude. Because here's the thing. Like, maybe she's like, like kind of into you. Maybe you aren't like officially dating yet. You go to fucking, it, who cares? And then you bomb. Oh. It's over. Yeah. It's over. But also, it is like, yeah, you're in front of a crowd, mm-hmm. but they're in my, like, for me, in my head, it would be that one person that, I, like, I would only be thinking about uh-huh. whether or not they're laughing. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, the crowd could be dying laughing, but I'm like, the only one I'm noticing is her. <laughs> like, I've had coworkers, you know? I've had coworkers ask to, they're like, let me come to one of your, like, open mics. And I'm like, absolutely not. Like, I'll, yeah, <laughs> you can come to a show. But if I bomb, I'm quitting the next day. <laughs> That's going to happen. Yeah. I never want to see you again. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can't see me. Bo- like when I'm at work, it's work me. I'm work Ryan. I'm not <laughs> I'm not at home Ryan. I'm not like on stage Ryan. I'm a I'm work guy. You know what I mean? And uh, God, you're bringing a date. I mean, that's a nightmare. Bringing a date to an open mic, you know what I would be worried about is like the other comics – looking at me that I know going like, is he bringing a date? To the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, they'd all say that. Who's this girl? We've never seen this <laughs> would, girl. You would never live it down. No. Everybody yeah. would talk. Well, everybody would make fun of you yeah. for that forever. That's why I don't do that. And then, and then you go to the, the, the next open mic the next time. They'd be like, hey, where's Stacy, dude? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Come on. What happened to the hot date, dude? Okay. Can we just move on, please? <laughs> Fucking awful. Oh, God. That, yeah, no, you can't. No, 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 no. No, that's a no go. Yes. Don't be bringing dates to fucking open mics. <laughs> Sorry. You could? I'm good. Sorry, my bad. I got a medical you issue. Want to take a want to take a uh No, I don't got a, a pee. pee break? No, I don't have to pee. We're 56 I, minutes in. I thought we were like 20. Yeah, dude, that flew by. I have a medical <laughs> issue. In, what, what's wrong? All right, let's take a break. Involving my testicles. Let's take a break. Wait, wait hold, on, hold on. What's wrong with your balls? Okay. Nothing's wrong with my balls, man. They just, they're in pain. Wait, for what's your, what's what? your medical issue? I i think one of them spun around. Spun around? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you, Do you want to go to the hospital? Would you or? twirl around in a circle and stop <laughs> instantly? And, and stop. <laughs> and then they just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm going to the That's urgent a, care tomorrow. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Doesn't sound that urgent of care. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of urgent? <laughs> Delayed. I'm going, I'm going to slow care. How, how Delayed you, care. How are you going to describe your condition to the doctor? I don't know. I just this was I, I made intense love to a woman the other night and uh, my man. It and I left. I was in the car and my right. These people don't want to hear this. <laughs> My right testicle was uh, in pain, and I went to bed, and I went, ah, it'll probably pass. Woke up the next day, and it was uh, 
hurting. I think it like twisted backwards, I think. Wow. Was yeah. she a gymnast? No, she wasn't a gymnast. <laughs> what know. if you get like a hot lady doctor? What are you going to say to her? I don't know. She's going to say, oh, I got a cough. I, <laughs> I I'm just going to say fix it because it kind of hurts. You think they'll just ask you to cough because the turn obviously already happened? They, the, it, I think it's yeah. backwards. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> I'd give you that to you if I wasn't in so much pain. Right now. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. But, okay, you would think they would get twisted more often. By the way, no, because they never do. This it's happened before. It's happened uh, twice in my whole life. That like a, a testicular tor torsion. That's what it's called. And so you know the feeling. I know the feeling. It's happened before, but it's, it's it has always passed. It's where they just get knocked around <laughs> too hard. And uh, but hey, I mean that's shows how much I'm committed. <laughs> to please a new you lady. Played, what? You played right through the pain. That's right. You got just you got to bring her. Shows I'm a real sport. <laughs> but uh, okay, let's move. We don't. Let's move on. And we're back. You like Carmex? I I love Car it. Remi the smell of it reminds me. I need of to put fun. some on right now. That just it just reminded me. See, I don't like the stick. I don't like that they made the stick. What? No, don't I no, like don't the, start this. I like no, the I like, stick. Don't start this. No, a, I like I like the jar. No, see, yes. this is so where stupid. Your, where you put your finger. Let's go. Chairs, no, let's go. I've been, I've been a lifelong jar man. I've been trying to get him on board. No, dude, let me put this Carmex on and then let me no, fucking like, destroy like, you guys. No, see, that's Carmex like trying to be like Burt's Bees or something. Like, yeah, no, yeah. no, no it's not Burt's Bees. It's not Burt's Bees. No, no, it's not Burt's Bees. Carmex comes in the drum. It's supposed to be in the drum. Yeah, you're supposed to finger it for a second and then put it on your lips. And the smell like. I can't use it out here. Like I can't believe you're doing it because like it, because that's I, I, it, it I reminds keep, me. I always keep it that reminds me on. of like snowy winter. Is like that right? That, like that smell. I like think of like cozy at home. Yeah, when your lips are chapped. Yeah, yeah. it reminds like, me I of home too. I, I come in from like shoveling. This is so and I, and I just put on. I just I goop out some Carmax. Yeah, you finger on. the Carmax. Yeah, no, either. I don't like the stick. I understand that it's easier, but I don't. It's not traditional. No, either. dude, the stick. Is superior to the drum. No. I don't know about it that. It is. No, it is. I okay, how many sticks? That. How many sticks have you actually finished? Go, like gone through all the way from start to finish. I always finish a stick. Do you never lose it? I I complete an entire stick. See the jar. I've never lost the yeah. stick. I'm losing all the time. I've finished okay. every single jar. How about this though? Have you guys noticed that the divot on the bottom of the jar has been getting deeper? Yeah. Oh, I, less one, Carmex well, in the drum. Less one, Carmex in the one drum. One of my favorite things is touching the bottom and like, ooh, I get to get another one. No, yeah, no, I get, I get to get buy another corners. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you're. You, I want to throw up right now, dude. Oh, no, now you no, want to throw up. I can't up. believe no. And not I, from no, the and dip you, and you and you probably got like the cherry flavor one. You no, know, it's you normal Carmex. No, one. it's no original Carmex. No, dude. The, when we were children, a drum of Carmex was like the bottom of it was. Flat. It was yeah. flat. I'll give you that. Yes, yeah, so you got to get it no, out of the corners no, and like, stuff. No, I mean, I mean the bottom of it. You're missing the point. They used to give you more Carmex. Now, oh. the, now oh, there's like a like, divot. There's a little concave. Yeah, yeah. Less, they're fucking you. Okay, what do you think's in there? It's a they're, full they're, tube of Carmex. <laughs> you think it goes all the way to the bottom? No, no way. I've never opened one. I'll give you that. Yeah, I've never cut also, one. Also, also the stick in the middle that you screw up, that's taking out space. That's yeah. taking out okay. Carmex. Okay, space. it's probably like half the whole stick yeah. when you think about it. Right. I, I will give you that. However, you don't get a messy Carmexy finger. That's the yeah, best but part. I dude. like. I like. That. What do you yeah. mean you like the I Mexi I, finger? I, I like you, the smell. What are you I gonna like. What are you gonna wipe on the side of your pants? When Not you're, when Carmex. Yeah. Not Carmex. This guy, he has no clue. Actually, dude. okay. So when I was smoking cigs, so this is I, like, ridiculous. I, so I did. I did like Second City in IO in Chicago, and like one of the things to meet, to, like okay, so our teachers all were like heavy smokers, so like tight. So you had to. So in the like we had a break every three hour class. There was like a midway like ten minute break. So our teachers would go out to smoke. So we like we would all like try to like get in good with them because because uh -huh. the teachers were also the people that like like picked you for main stage. Sure, or, like told like you know. So we would all go outside to get in good with them. And I'm still living at home with my parents. And like honestly, still I would hide this. But uh, so I would go smoke cigs with, with our teachers yeah, and like yeah. and the rest of the class. So we're all smoking cigarettes. And when I came home to hide that I. The, like to hide the cigarette yeah. smoke. I would rub Carmex yeah. from the jar on the inside of my finger, so yeah. I smelled all car. And I would like rub that them. Sounds together. like a yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. I was very Carmex, no, and it worked. That's, that's a, a weird workaround. Yeah. It worked. That's something you can only do with the drum. You yeah, you can't do it with the stick. You imagine trying to do that with the stick. No, it's impossible no, because then it goops up. Yeah, 
And you, and you have such Ooh, a looks low like I'm doing area. it. Whatever, dude. You could have just washed your hands, maybe. No, but then you still stink. Okay, listen. Listen, can we just at least agree that the worst one is the squeeze poop one? Oh, that's the can worst. Can we agree that's, on that? Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. yeah, because it gets all over the place. Yeah, no, it, like you yeah. squeeze it and it like coils like a piece like of a, poo. Yes. Well, I yeah. hate, see, I hate that it, I hate the coil, the, like the poo is fine because it like... <laughs> It surrounds. It, it gets your whole lips, but I hate when it get it gets into the creases uh-huh. of, the, of the screw. Yeah, up. yeah, and, and then it gets dirty from your pocket lint. Yeah, you get lint and in it's there. Disgusting. You get lint in there. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, that exactly. was very well that put. Is the, lint is always nasty. Why yeah. is lint the nastiest, dude? And why, it's why does it's it like, just well, show it's, up? It's like where did it come from? Where mm-hmm. did honestly, you know God, I mean? where did lint come from? Why when I ever, whenever I take my shirt off to go get in the shower, I gotta like pick my belly button up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's that, so that, stupid. That, that might be a you thing. That it might be. Might but, be. You've uh, never gotten belly button lint? Nah, no, okay, really. I know the majority of my listeners have gotten <laughs> belly button lint. <laughs> I'm going for the rotund community over. I here. got a I got a shallow button, but however, the drum is okay. The drum is nice. But the, just, stick, the stick is superior. It reminds me of warm winter. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, I think the word you're looking for is uh, superior. Yeah, the, the drum, stick. The, the stick. The, I the mean. drum being superior. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. look, let's just agree to disagree on this, I think. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, I we're going to have to. I don't think um, I don't think we're going to come to any common ground, but um, we both like the drum, which means you are wrong. Yeah. Well, that doesn't so, mean I'm wrong. Two out of three. But guys, guys, l- let's just move on. Can we just move on? Um. By the way, cheers. I don't know why. It's cheers. Just, I don't know. Eight. You know why? I don't know why. So two out of three ain't bad is a meatloaf. <laughs> cheers song. to being right. Oh, I don't Absolutely. get to get in the cheers. No, no, we got to cheers to this. We, Look, get, at least- we get all cheers to this <laughs> because two out of three ain't bad is a meatloaf song. But I don't know why I thought about it. But Toby Keith, our guy. Ah, oh yeah, TB dude. Rest in peace. I love him mm. so much. That's upsetting. I know. You took you took I mean, that I pretty knew, hard. I knew he was sick. But yeah, like him and Jimmy Buffett, like two of my all-time favorite people ever. Yeah. This must have been a hard year for you, hard two years. It was rough. Buffett, well Buffett was uh Buffett was like on like near Christmas. Mm-hmm. I was home for sure. I was in Chicago. And my dad's like, "Tom, it was in the morning." I was like, "Tom, get in here." My dad doesn't know anything about pop call. He doesn't have Twitter. I don't know how he figured this out. But he's like, "Tom, look. Buffett." Terrible. It, like that was out of nowhere. Like at least I knew Toby Keith was sick. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's pretty upsetting. He's an Oklahoma boy. To think he survived Las Vegas and then cancer got him. That's just right. He's nuts. so young. Brutal. I mean, I love. I mean, what is your? Uh, I mean, you're in Nashville, guys. What's your favorite country concert? You. What's your first concert you ever been to? Oh shit! <laughs> first concert. Blink, I think. Yeah, my first real concert I went to was uh, was Blink One Eighty Two in Atlanta with uh, my buddy Tanner. Shout out Tanner. Um, yeah, that was up, f- Tanner. Yeah, like growing growing up in Nashville, yeah. I, I always like I, I admired country music, but I like then I found I was just like like thirteen and mad, and I figured out what punk rock was, and I was like, oh, oh punk this, rock, this is so way cool. more tight. And mom and dad were getting divorced. Yeah, I was, I was just like angry all the time, and. Um, yeah, so but, nothing's changed, really. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think my first real concert was Blink at the, uh, I think it was the, the, it was like some furniture store owned at Amphitheater in Atlanta, and uh, Tanner's mom had to drive us down there. From and, Nashville? Yeah, from Nashville. That like is a, a hike of a drive. Yeah, it's like a four-hour drive, and it was awesome. It was. Uh, they weren't playing it like the Gaylord? Like anywhere no, closer. Here's what people get wrong about Nashville. Like, like a lot of acts skip Nashville just because a lot of industry is there, and like, okay, uh, like, like, like promoters, people in the industry, they all want tickets, and then like a- everyone in the industry, their eye is on you when you're at Bridgestone or the Ryman or whatever. And so a lot of acts are just like, oh, let's just skip that and go to Atlanta or like South Carolina or wh- or whatever. Um, I figured that out because I was like, of course, Blink would play a place like Nashville. And then they they skipped it over. And then of course, as soon oh, as wow. we moved out to California, the, one of the first stops on their next tour <laughs> was Nashville. Yeah. yeah, you you were like the first one to get tickets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's just because yeah, I guess Nashville's changed a little bit. But yeah, Blink was probably my first real concert experience, and uh, we're seeing them at SoFi this summer. I'm I'm gonna go to that. Yeah, I've never been. Sure. Are you? For uh, like I didn't like I'll go with you guys. Yeah, <laughs> dude, get, dude, get tickets, dude. It's gonna be a monument. It'll be way cheaper than we, what you got. Like the one you guys went to. That was. Uh, 
that was an expensive. That was on their uh, first comeback tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, now, now it's like their second. Now, that, now they're back. We're used to them. It's mm-hmm. cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're doing like the new album tour. Yeah. So, but it'll be. It's gonna be fucking awesome. I'll tell you a song I've been playing a lot lately, as far as, far as country wise, is Two Dozen Roses" by Shenandoah. If you never heard it, Shen- oh, I love Shenandoah. They it's a good song. rule, dude. That's one of my favorite songs of theirs. It's great, and it's like I'm not even like I don't even have a girlfriend to apologize to. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, if, yeah. If what if I had two dozen <laughs> roses? You know, <laughs> what if I did? <laughs> what about you? First concert? Uh, I think it was Blank. Also. Yeah. Well, no, because the, the a different blank. Be, no, because the next year they came back to Atlanta, and it was Tanner and I, but we dragged Ryan along. Oh. That, I, I was at, finally old enough. At that point, he was like fifteen. Yeah, maybe or fifteen. Whatever. Fifteen, also angry. I've seen yeah. some cool, like concerts. Like I saw like uh, Macklemore on his The Heist tour. Like this was maybe f- wait was that freshman year? It's like right when like thrift shop. Yes, and like can't. Hold me Weird, or something yes. came out. Weirdly in Atlanta too. Yeah, like yeah. all the concerts. We had to drive down to Atlanta to see. You live in Music City and you have to go to Atlanta for yeah. concerts. Yeah, yeah. Well, they just they skip Nashville. It's like it, also it's My, like every single day there is booked. At yeah. the time, it was badass, but but at Second City, my pump up like I, when I was driving to Second City for our shows. Mm. My pump up music was Thrift Shop by Macklemore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, it was badass. Looking uh-huh. back, yeah, no, it's very it's less kinda, badass. <laughs> it's just like anything else, you know. You look back and you're like, "Why? Why was I wearing that? Why did I yeah. go listen to that?" <laughs> I but literally get pumped. Sick, to Macklemore. sick concert. Yeah, sick production. Everything. He popped up from the floor. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't have seen him. Be- he was so before big. or after. He was so famous. Yeah, for like a. Uh, a flash in the pan. Yeah, it, it was like two years, and yeah. I saw him in that, and he fucking put a show on. Yeah. It was insane. I think everybody thought he was like the new Eminem. Yes, it, it was, and then he kind of just- he was not. He kind of just dipped. <laughs> what was his other- he had Thrift Shop, and he had he had one other song. Uh, Can't Hold Us. I don't know how it goes. And uh, Like the City Can't Hold Us, here we oh, yeah. go back- that's not him, though. Th- th- this I mean, he's oh, in it. his song. Yeah. He's, yeah. He had that other song. This is the dumbest, smartest thing ever. He had that song about like Malcolm Gladwell's book, 10,000 Hours. Yeah, that was another good one. Okay. Another yeah, good and one. I was like, oh, who's Malcolm? I, and then I read the book because of the Macklemore song, which is like the dumbest way to be an intellectual <laughs> at all. I was like, I'm well, this guy a, is talking about it. I'm such a Macklemore fan. I <laughs> yeah. read. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he really did. He really did drop like a hard album yeah. and then just yeah. fucked off. Yeah, it was nuts. And then I, you know, I've seen like Jason Aldean. That was an awesome concert. That was a bridge. Well, he's great. Yeah, yeah. And my um, first, I was four. My first concert. Who was it? Billy Ray Cyrus. Wow. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes. And I remember, like, we were like in the, we were in like father, the third father row. to the queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I love her. She was. She's funny. Yeah. I've she, seen her a few times too. I saw her as Hannah Montana. Really? Yeah, I, well, I was a chaperone to my little sister and my two other cousins who are her. They're, they're all the same age. Mm-hmm. So I was the chaperone for them to go see it. I think I had the most fun at the whole concert. I bet you did. <laughs> like, if I, I'm, like, I'm like going nuts. They're sitting down like, guys, get up. Like there was one part, literally one part of the concert where my Hannah is on stage. She's like, I want to see everybody standing up with your hands in the air. And I'm doing it. Uh huh. And they're all sitting down. Damn. And I'm like. Hannah said, "Stand." <laughs> they all still remember me saying that. So stupid, <laughs> so funny. Because you're no. Least. See, I just love concerts, though. I'm I see- went with at least. I went with at least. Carly Rae Jepsen. No, Kesha. Kesha. That yeah. Was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I have see- also seen Carly Rae Jepsen. I saw those. That was hilarious. Yeah. Did you, so you enjoy fun. it? Oh, it was a blast. Well, the Palladium rules. L.A. One another thing good about L.A. is which uh, is a rare thing you'll find me complimenting this place, but a lot, but a lot wrong with it. Yeah, but comedy scene. Yeah, weather. Yes, police chases. You can watch live. Mm-hmm. Fantastic, and the Palladium and and the well, really the like c- concerts that come yeah. here are great. Yeah, and the Palladium is one of my favorite venues because it's so small, dude. It's Hollywood. It's the entertainment yeah. capital yeah. of the world. We, we saw we saw Angels and Airways. I was just about to bring that up. The Palladium, yeah. it was yeah. awesome. Palladium, well, the Palladium is so awesome because it's so small. Weird wrap around. The first time we saw Angels and Airways was uh, in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All of our wow, concerts, you guys, we had you guys to Atlanta. love Atlanta. Oh yeah, yeah. I, a lot of great memories in Atlanta. I bought my first motorcycle in Atlanta. How many have you had? Just one. So 
You bought your motorcycle. I bought my first motorcycle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like, hey, you someone also, read that back to me. You also I got, think I, I didn't misspeak. Well, you got your last one there, too. Which one? <laughs> you got the last one. I guess you know, I did. Right? Yeah, yeah, if I never buy another one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have my first and last motorcycle ever if I never All sell it. All from Atlanta. Atlanta's, how far is a drive from That's three and a half hours. Yeah, four hours. Oh, that's not horrible, I guess. No, it's not that bad. It's six hours from Chicago to Nashville, like six and a half. Jeez. Chicago to Nashville. And you guys are never driving up. We're always driving down. Yeah, it's because why drive up? Yeah. You we, guys are also Eastern goods. time zone, which is very annoying. Does that bug you? Yeah, because I'm on. I'm because I'm like I'm ready to party at two a.m. and all the bars are closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we're just that spot, man. I love history. I love like the history. We, me and my dad, we drove around. Like we went to all like the Civil War places mm-hmm. down in Nash. It's so cool. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's a great place. It's not a, not Nashville just specifically, just anywhere in Tennessee. Yeah. There's not a bad It's spot. so, all, like, all, like the history there is so and cool. Murfreesboro is sketchy. But, okay, yeah. Murfreesboro is the <laughs> only bad place <laughs> in Tennessee. No, nah, Nashville was such a cool place to grow up, especially because, like, we were growing up in, like, you know, like, 2008 to, like, 2015, mm-hmm. 16, you know? Yeah. And it was such a... Like it was so different than it is now. Now it's like a destination. It's, it's well, everybody's going there. Yeah, everyone's moving. Everyone's leaving here and going yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, right yeah. when you guys came from Nashville to here, everybody yeah. left here to go to Nashville. I think yep. we passed Theo Vaughn <laughs> on the uh, on, yeah. on the. You 10. guys high five. Yeah, <laughs> we did. Yeah, we were there our whole lives until yeah. we moved here three years ago. No, but it's a great place to grow up because it's like you have like the city, and then and then growing up on the outskirts, you still have that like suburban lifestyle. You grow up around like normal people not mm-hmm. like crazy folks out here in la farms and back roads yeah and it's, it's just a real life yeah which is so cool i mean i, I just love that like chicago like when i because you, you know we say yeah we grew up in nashville and people think broadway and like same with chicago it's like you were on the outskirts right i mean i was in no i was in the city were you really? but, yeah i grew up oh, in wow. the city yeah but um yeah i do think broadway when i think of Nashville. yeah like truly but I had been on the outskirts. I don't know why. My cousin was there. He was staying. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> but I, I've been in Nashville a lot. I was there for my 21st birthday, me and my dad. Actually, how crazy is this? We were at, um, we just got there. It was like probably 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And we go to some bar to get food because we just, like, we were so sick of driving. Yeah. And we just parked. Like, it was, it was at a time of day where you could park on the street, on the curb. Yeah. And we went to, I want it wasn't Tootsie. What's the other one next, like near Tootsie's? And it's Tootsie's esque. It's like long, and there's a bar, but you can get food. Like you get burgers. I, yeah. dude, Tender I, roof? I don't we, know. We, yeah, I don't know. We, we haven't been to well, Broadway in forever. It's been a minute. We, I, I never even went down there, like living there even. Wow, you guys are nuts. You missed out. It's I mean, so I'd go there occasionally, but I don't, yeah. I don't remember the names. Um, whatever. So we go to this bar and we get, we get a beer and we get, we order food. And, up on the front, like in the stage, is some guy performing. He was great. And it was literally just me and my dad. And the guy, he comes down and he talks to him, like, we're whatever. My dad's like, here, here's 20 bucks. Like, good luck. It was Jake Owen. Or wow. no, it, no, it was Luke Bryan, not Jake Luke, Owen. Luke Bryan. Wow. Yeah. It was Luke Bryan. And like, lit, like probably, like, I remember he's like, yeah, I'm, I like vividly remember his name because I was like, oh, that's a first name, last name type of guy. Wow. That's why I always get him confused with Jake Owen. <laughs> But I, wow, like, what year was this? This was I turned twenty one, so I was. Uh, this was oh, forty years ago. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, like and subscribe, folks. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This is oh nine. Wow. Maybe? Yeah. Wow, that's intense. Yeah, and wow. like, like, honest, like, probably eight months later, he came, he his like big song, like first song came out. That's so cool. But we were like alone in the bar with him just playing for tips. Wow. And yeah, gave him 20 bucks. He was like an open micer. Yeah, exactly. He was like up there bombing probably. Ex- he kind of, he did. Was he good? Him. I'm he sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he good. And well, also music's so different. Yeah, it is like, different. Mu- like, I feel like unless you fuck up the words, you can't bomb a song. Yeah, you can, you really can't. Well, also there's other people to back you up. Like if you miss a note, like the bass player is still going to hit his you know, mm-hmm. the drummer's still going to be on time. Yeah. And, well, he was playing covers, too. So it was like, like you're, he's playing songs that 
you know. Yeah. So like you're singing along yeah, too. Yeah. That, that's on top what, of it. That, that's kind of what Broadway acts at, as weirdly. It's it's like they're like you know how we have like the, like like that the tri like the factory the store and the improv yeah or whatever that that's like Broadway for country musicians they'll go down there and then they'll bomb for like nine years and then finally get discovered and then go on to be Luke Bryan mm -hmm. yeah I mean there's people it's weird to think about we're in that same situation right now there's people that we run around the same circles with that uh, you just never know who could who well you could, have no idea yeah, yeah. No, you could you never know who's gonna pop off and. Uh, it's just very odd, you know? So I just be nice to everybody. But yeah, don't be a dick. Yeah. Also, yeah, it, yeah it's, it is crazy to think about that way. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some people that we know right now that could be Luke Bryan one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of comedians that I, like, that, that, that we've seen that, like, I truly think, like, they should be. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. And maybe that, like, maybe they'll give up too early, or maybe they'll, well, like, I, who knows? I hope they don't. And of course, yeah, uh, like, what if they just get sick of it? Or what yeah. if they're like, eh? But I, I think the, the more important thing is that like we're all kind of doing it, uh, like at the same time together. It's like a rising tide lifts all ships. Yes, you know. True. I'd I'd love a decade from now us all. You know, instead of just, uh, in, just yeah. instead, instead, instead of just hanging out at the open mics, we're just doing club spots and then doing mm -hmm. the road. No day job. None of that. We were talking about this the other day on. In the apartment, um, like we were looking like what we want our lives to look like, and we narrowed it down to um, we want our lives to look exact. We're doing everything we already want to do. We just have a day job. Yeah. So, uh, like we go out to Mike's every night, two, three, uh, three, four, whatever, and then we go down to the comedy store, get a few drinks, hang out with comics, talk, do a podcast. Uh, you know, and then every outside of comedy, go to the gym, golf, have fun. Yeah, it's just the day job. So it's like, if we can just get rid of the day job, yeah. I'm already doing what I want and love and doing. A hundred percent. It's just that fucking. It's like this last <laughs> yeah. day it's like job. This, this, this yeah. last cancer that's hanging on. Yeah, and you're it's, right. It's yeah. the hardest part. But to it's get the rid thing of. that you need. Yeah. No, Which is the <laughs> like you can't not have it. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope, not with LA. So that's what prices. I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, think about us in in however many years we're doing this, but we just left the comedy store. You know, we just did. We all did sets in the comedy store. We had a few drinks, got fucking pink J stock burritos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we sit down, we do a podcast, and but we just don't have to go to work in the morning. Yeah, that, I mean that's the life. We're already we do doing. It, it. We do whatever we want. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're already doing it. Just no day job. And I feel, well, I feel, and we have such a good crew too. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'll like will, if one of us does make make some strides, like we're all going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there. It's it's yeah. all, it's all, it's all connected. You can't be out for yourself. No. We, it's a yeah. You can I mean, it is an impossible world to be by like on yeah. your own. Yeah. No, because then you're just a, an island. You're just which alone. is impossible. Yeah. You're just alone, and then no one. No one cares to help you out. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're just a well, a I mean, yeah, like you see, like the like the Rogan crew, they all went down to Austin, and like you could, they all went. Mm -hmm. They like they Pretty all much. just went together. You well, know? then they were also built together. They, exactly. They all came up together, and they yeah. just stuck. They're just but. stick stick together. And, and and how lonely must it be to like get successful on yourself? The whole the whole point is to like, you know have friends do it with you along the way like, exactly. it, like if it's just you it's not fun it's 100 like, the most fun is is like outside on the patio of like badger and jam where we just hang out for an hour and yeah. just shoot the shit yeah it's like i'd rather like, be in a packed green room with friends than alone in a green room like on a theater yeah yeah some theater somewhere you know yeah just fucking imagine this also we get to eventually once once Buddy Podcast blows up, <laughs> we can put our own shows on. That's, oh, yeah. That's what I'm so excited for is... Um, Hayden Wyckoff and Friends. That's right. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Like, yeah. Like, like like Bombing Podcast and Friends. Presents. Presents, yeah. And then it's um, Dame Whoever. And it's like six comics on a... we And we sell out a 
the belly the, room. The ORs. Yeah, yeah. But if, yeah, but if everyone, I was, if I, people text me, I'll I was be like, more hey, ambitious. He went, I went, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we sell out the Hollywood comedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but it is just the same thing. And then you, we can put our own shows on, and then, and then it's yeah, it's just you help each other and it's, yeah well that's what people always, like all the successful people are like well like honestly the most fun part is the ride there but honestly i think it like <sighs> the most fun part of it is being where they are mm-hmm. and then looking back and being like okay this is how i got yeah, yeah because yeah, the ride I, sucked if yeah, you don't get yeah, to where they are. I go the, back and forth with <laughs> that. Yeah. it's hard here's the yeah. thing right now sucks right now is not good <laughs> i i go to work five days a week and every night I'm at an open mic where I'm like with four people in the crowd. Yeah, being like yeah. fucking toasters are weird, aren't they? And just fuck it just bomb after I mean, bomb. You're... You sprinkle a kill in there and that <laughs> keeps you from reaching for the drawer, you know? <laughs> and it's just like right now sucks, but every comic that I hear that has made it, they're like, Yeah, those were the best years of my life. I'm like, Really? It's because it's they because made they it. got there. Yeah. 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 Like every like you don't hear about the bum comics that are like, Well, I can't believe I wasted that. Yeah. Like, I look back to my childhood, and a lot of it was hard, but I look back on it, and I'm like, that was a good, man, that was a good well, time. That, well, that's why you are who you are. Mm-hmm. It's like, but also, it's like, enjoy this, because we are all, we moment, are all yeah. gonna be dead. Yeah. One day. That'd be 100%. We're all gonna no, die. Like, nothing matters, so no. why not just do whatever? Yeah, that's right. And it's hard, yeah. easier said than done, but... We are all going to be dead. Everyone watching is going to be dead. And so just have fun at an open mic <laughs> and then fucking do a podcast with Bud Lights. You know? Like, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, and just going up and it, it, going up and bombing is fun. Yeah. Like, I, it, like, it, yeah. like in front of you, it, like, it's like, I guess bringing it back to the B&J. But like going up and bombing in front of your friends is hilarious. Yeah, yeah like it's so. funny by like bombing is funny to your friends because <laughs> it's funny. It, <laughs> like, it is. There is humor. To like it. you go up after your buddy and just rip on them for sucking, and that's hilarious. <laughs> or or the, the, like, the one of my most fun like like sets to do is when like like a buddy of yours, especially this happened a lot to Badger and Jam, would go up and crush. And then you're like, you're looking at your notes. You're like, oh no, fuck! <laughs> you're like, damn fuck. it! All I got is like new stuff to work on tonight. And you go up and bomb, and it's like all your buddies in the back, like leaning against the wall, like, oh, this guy's <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that is the worst. Well, it's the worst feeling to have to be the one that goes up after just a crush. Yeah, but that's that's good though. It's it is good, good. Though. because well, you could do it both you ways. Think it's gonna you be could, bad, you could, but it's you not. You could use the momentum. Mm-hmm. And crush in your own way because every, the thing is every every comedian is so different. Yeah. So like like you're not you can't be exactly whoever that person was. That's right. And you shouldn't Which, be. And yeah. Well, you're, yeah. You never can be. And you're it's, not it's, supposed to be. Yeah. You're supposed to be you. So you can crush in your own way, but. And there is something to the comic before you crushes, and there's a <laughs> there's a part of you that will I think always think ah oh, fuck yeah but <laughs> oh yeah you have to fight that. <laughs> and go and think like no this is good like you're not gonna someone crushes before you and you walk on stage the crowd isn't gonna go well he wasn't the, like the last guy they're just gonna go like oh who's this who is yeah, this exactly and you just have to do you the best you can 100 percent. all they're there and it'll be okay all they're there to do is laugh that's right like but you're comparing yourself. Yeah. It's all it's all in your head. It's also, all in your head. Get the fuck out of your head. <laughs> also, there's there's nothing better than than following like a like a friend of yours that that crushed and opening with like a riff you wrote down like while he was on there mm-hmm. the, and then it just kills. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's like a springboard. It's like a it's like a guaranteed well, yeah because good then start. that gets you. Well then that gets you like then everybody's kind of like it's a good segue into you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then and then like, you have to be you. And not try to be like anything that you're not. Yeah. Like if the well, guy in front of you is super energetic and uh, loud, but you're not that, don't try to copy that. Yeah. Bring it back down. Bring yeah. it be, like well, lower just be, expectations. Just be you. Bit. Just be you. Because mm-hmm. you know, like you are good who you are. Mm-hmm. So just do what you do. That takes a lot of mics. It's tough. <laughs> figure that out well, like I'm, joe, joe rogan always talks about how he bitsy had him open for uh 
or Mitzi had him go after I, I I cannot think of who it was, but he he said he was like it sucked. He I'm sure it was someone add, amazing. It, no, it's somebody like yeah. It, it wasn't Eddie Murphy, but it was somebody like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was. It like, makes you better. Yeah, and he was like, it sucked every single time. She would just put me up right after him, and so like he's like the first couple times. Ryan like, had to follow terrible. Damon Wayne's at Haha's like a month, a couple months ago, right? Or no, he had to follow me. Actually, it was it was reversed. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, okay. so. I, I was on a set, and at the oh. Haha, and um, so, like someone walks in mid set, and there's like some commotion, and then. Um, I start, I was bombing at the beginning, but then I started, I killed at the end. And then, um, I heard like people laughing in the way back where I, like, where I knew people weren't sitting yeah. and, uh, I get off whatever. And then the host comes on and he's like, we have a special guest, Damon Waynes Jr. Oh, wow. And so that was pretty, he got to see me do good. So that was kind of That's nice. great. Yeah. But and then he bombed because you crushed. He him probably off. rode my wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely rode my wave. Yeah. Okay. How about this belt buckle over here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a blast. That was the ha ha. Mm-hmm. Ha ha's got some good. It's a good mic. It's a good. It's a good stage. It's a. It's it, a good room. I think it's a good room. It's a good room. It's just run so shitty. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. and it looks like crap. Mm. Like yeah, that the, bathroom's I mean, rough. The bathroom is rough. No doors on the fucking the bathroom stalls. Bathroom is terrible. Like, as is much that? as I like making eye contact with people while I take a big dump, I, I love doing that. I'd rather have <laughs> I'd a rather. door. Yeah, the bathroom is pretty terrible. <laughs> Not to mention the outside <laughs> of the club, purple and orange. Like that's it their looks co- like, okay. It looks like I made that sign. Too. Yeah, purple and orange. Right. That's their color of the whole building. Like, two hard colors by themselves, but together? The first time I ever saw it, I was like, oh, this is like a, probably some, like, like, slope in my Mm -hmm. regular place. And then, like, I get an email from, I'm on, like, a million comedy emails, by the way. And it's, it's, you know, some, I gotta, it's gotta stop. I gotta unsubscribe. But anyway, so I get an email. It's like, oh, haha, Bill Burr. Uh, Like, all these guys are there. Mm-hmm. It's no, crazy it, in it, that tiny little room. It, it, it's a, it's a full fledged leg- legitimate club, and I'll always have like a weird soft spot in my heart for there. Yeah, at the Haha ha because uh, when we first moved here, they were the first like club that did an open mic when everywhere else was shut down because they have that little outdoor. Oh, did patio. they? Yeah, mm-hmm. that, you know they have that like the side room that's like the outdoor patio. They would do open mics over there, so that oh. that was one of the first club open mics that we ever got into. And we and we started getting that was those were like our first shows. Yeah, like yeah. our yeah. name on a poster that we could post on Instagram and be like, "Look, that's yeah. awesome! Look, it was, everybody!" It was like it was like our face with the name, and then I could text everybody back home like, "See, that wasn't wrong." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was my, my first poster was Young Baca. Oh God! <laughs> but I was as pumped <laughs> when oh, I got God. my poster back. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh, should we even? Should we even get Wait, into let's, this? No. Let's move <laughs> on. Yeah. All right, let's, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. No. Let's move on. Unless, like, uh, he's the next guest on the podcast. Oh, bad Let news! He comes out of the back. Bad news! <laughs> Waiting in the wings. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> love your shows. Like an episode of Jerry Springer. Here he comes. No, um, those are. Yes. But no, that's cool. Like the yeah, ha- yeah the house. Ha- pretty cool club it is for they, they gotta let they gotta like do stuff they, they get yeah, upgrade the colors so also haha's it is like it's a legit comedy club yeah but it's also it's like really it, good it's also like it also kind of in the dumps um it'd be a great place to do like bombing podcast and friends like, like once, like, oh, once totally. we get there once put on a real show, totally yeah, once yeah. we get there because we show them the numbers hey we can do we can do 200 people guaranteed. They go, let's do it. Let's put it on. Yeah. And then our names on the marquee. Like that's, that was the first place we, we are looking at uh, in the future. Buddy podcast will open for you. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine a show where a podcast opens for a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> that would be. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. We got the light. Uh, we're we're going to have to wrap this one up. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you. Welcome to the stage bombing podcast. <laughs> Hey, it's just the same fucking spray the mics. No, never again. <laughs> yeah. Never uh, again. I, I like something cool about LA that I I learned before I started doing stand up was how small 
or how like how accessible co- comedy was mm-hmm. like you see the biggest comedians for 20 bucks mm-hmm. yeah. max yeah. No, it, at the comedy store 20 bucks at the laugh factory like, i don't know what 15 20 bucks it, it, it's, nothing it's mind boggling that and and we brought this up earlier about how like it like in nashville you, twice a month you could get up at an open mic it's like the, like the amount of like stage time that you can get in a day here oh yeah 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 just blew our minds absolutely and uh i don't know like getting to see the lineup at the comedy store Mm -hmm. or what and there's 20 dollars on a thursday and and they're so accessible like like they go up on stage and then they're just hanging out like you just if you want whoever you want to talk to just hey what's up great like you or not. Also, like, the, the, I'm obviously going up to him. I have to talk to people. I have to. <laughs> one of the one, you're one, good at it. One of the coolest <laughs> things once you once you like kind of get into the like LA open mic scene and like make friends with the door guys at the store or whatever. If there's something going on, and if you just tell them that you're a comic, they'll just be like, "All right, just go stand in the back." Don't, oh yeah. Don't let me regret this decision. Mm-hmm. And then you could, we saw Tim Dillon the other night. Oh my god, just headline. He is so funny. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah, and then even just like it in the patio at the comedy store, fucking how oh, many? Oh, you see everybody. Uh, Theo Vaughn, I've seen a bunch of t- I've co- a conversation with Theo Vaughn, <laughs> yeah. Bob, Bobby Lee, just I, anybody. I have this. We have this great story about Bobby Lee. Um, we were we were just hanging out. Uh, this was like a year ago, or mm-hmm. so. this is a long time ago. Um, we were just hanging out, like just drinking, smoking cigarettes on the the front rotunda of the of the comedy store, and uh, just seeing like who was going on or whatever we didn't and, have tickets or anything yeah and, and I, f- I forget how it happened but we got into a conversation with bobby lee and um we mentioned that like we were open micers we just came from an, uh, like an open mic we were just trying to hang out and he was like oh you guys are comics and we were like yeah he goes follow me and he leads us into the or back to that main like where the comics sit yeah area and he was like yeah you, he like got us past the mm-hmm. the ticket lady he's like yeah the ticket he walked up to the ticket lady and he said uh hey these are my comedian friends they're good yeah, and we were like, "That's he's just, what an insane uh, thing to yeah. hear." And then we walked in, and who walked on stage? Who, who was, was Martin Lawrence? Martin Lawrence. As we sat down in that back booth, Martin Lawrence came on stage and killed for twenty minutes. Okay, that's unreal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then so Bobby, Lee, who, Bobby Lee went up right after. Yeah. That's who wrote. That's who Mitzi put before. Oh wow! Oh, that's shit. who Mitzi put before Rogan. Oh, uh, Martin Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Not Eddie Murphy. I've had some some of my favorite. Memories that's crazy. Or at the comedy store, that's man. really fun. That's yeah. really cool. And dude, he didn't have to do that. We were we were nobody. Of course we're not. Still nobody. You didn't you didn't even expect anything. Yeah, and he'll never remember it. He's no. the yeah, but like but you will forever, forever. And I, I want to tell him like he went out of his way to just be the nicest because he because why not? Yeah, it's like he could see he, us. Just it's like he could see it in our eyes. Like we were sad puppies. Like oh god, mm-hmm. so like well I, because he's been there. Yeah. yeah. Someone he, he he was the unknown. Someone did that for him, and yeah, he's passing uh, yeah. it on. And I'll do it for someone. Absolutely. When I hopefully when that day comes, I'm gonna do it for too many people. Yeah, you would. You would. <laughs> hey, nine hundred. These all nine hundred people uh, are like, with me. My, my best bet is just getting the comedian to come outside and perform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Can you just do the patio? What I was gonna say, I, you, I get sometimes I get offended if if I have to get metal detected going into the. Going to the comedy oh, yeah, store, yeah. like because like, I'm, I'm so used to everybody like, getting okay, away. Get him in, get it, get it. He's, yeah, they're good, they're oh, good. They're if good. I get metal detected, I'm like, oh, the fuck? it's like it's like this what, guy. Do you like, know who I am? It's like <laughs> you have any idea? The one night that, that Guam's not working, you're like, oh come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, yeah, whatever, sure. <laughs> or, I, or, I, I didn't leave my keys in my pocket or just or so when, the thing goes off. Or when they go, uh, who, well, you know, who are you here for? Oh, I'm watching the roast battle. Down the hall to the left. I know where it yeah, is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How dare you give me directions? I know where the rooms are. Thank you very much. I'm a regular here. Not paid though. I, yeah, dude, uh, the comedy store. That's. that's I mean, tops. that's the reason we moved out here. Is for yeah. that one building. And it's, and it has never disappointed. It just has not disappointed. It's amazing. You. I remember the first <laughs> time we got to hang out at the uh, at the green room, uh, uh, upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the belly room. What was that for? Was that for your roast or uh, Elise's roast? It was one of Luke Wall's roasts, I it think. It was Luke's. Yeah, it was one of Luke's roasts, and we were just there to see them. And we knew we knew some door guys at that point, so they were just like, yeah, just go hang out in the green room. Yeah. And we've done it 30 times since, and it's just like, we're just well, in Well, now it. it's regular. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I remember the first time it felt so cool, because I was like, oh, we're like... We're like comics now, like like, yeah. like like right. We got to go through. We didn't have to pay. We got through the entrance. 
you know? In the green it's, room with fucking the comics that are about to I go I remember on. the last time we went there, we went up and we went to go, like, say hi to Guam. And he was, like, annoyed. He was like, no, I'm doing my job. Get back there, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go. No. You guys know where to go. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> it's the best. Mm -hmm. I've, I love, I just love that whole building, man. I, and there's, I, there's so much of it that I haven't, I have yet to explore. Every, like, the way that, that, yeah. that our lives look right now in L.A. is everything that I pictured when I was sitting at my fucking tiny apartment in nashville mm -hmm. it's everything that i wanted and and it, more and things i couldn't even like vision you know hell yeah. yeah and it's only on the way up yeah hopefully i can't wait that, i'll tell you that's the only thing that gives me a lot of optimism is that like it, it it whatever we're doing i don't know what it is it just keeps working we just keep getting to that next step whatever that is it just it just keeps on working and i don't know what's you know, a year, two years down the road, but like whatever we're doing, it's working. So we're just going to keep just on keep doing, doing it. Doing yeah. It. Yep. I can't wait till uh, like our group get, like we get big enough so that we, we can have a feud with the New York comics. <laughs> <laughs> East Coast, West Coast. Yeah, Cause yes. I mean, we're, we're definitely the West coast comedians. Dude, uh, there's like, there's like a new wave of New York comics that are at our level yeah, that we'll, we don't even know we'll yet. We'll beat the shit out of Fuck them. Fuck yeah. Dude. yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How dude. dare they? Being in fucking New York, fuck off. <laughs> oh, I do you like. Think New York. you're a tough guy? <laughs> I eh? do. I do like New York though. I <laughs> yeah, love to go there. Yeah, it is fun. I've never. Have you done? Have you gone do comedy there? Never. I never been there. I went to New York once when I was a kid. They were uh, uh, the towers were still like a pit. That's all I remember. Oh, that's that's about it. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the? What happened to the towers? Hmm. What happened? What do you mean they were a pit? The, uh, I don't know. I, they I, were gone. Well, oh, oh! I hate to break it. Yeah, big, he's a big airplane guy. Everybody. Uh, so uh, what happened to the towers? Two airplanes hit the twin towers. Well, two, in yeah, September. two of your two of your favorite vehicles. Uh, two thousand one. Uh, what to, the fuck? I hate to break this news to you, Ryan. They're gone. They've the they've been gone for two decades. Two airplanes hit one of the towers. No. <laughs> I'm one gonna, of the towers fell. Serious? Are you serious? Are you, you're fucking with me. I'm gonna fight Ryan right now. You're fucking. No, with actually, me. no. The New York. This is this is ammo for the New York comics. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so pissed. Ryan, you don't really care about the Pentagon, do you? What happened to the Pentagon? I was never a ge geometry guy. Oh right. wait, hold. No, I did hear about the Pentagon. An airplane hit it. What's that face? What is that? I mean, did it? I was. <laughs> was it an airplane? Allegedly, I heard it was an airplane. Yeah. Uh. Mm. The guy who doesn't didn't hear about 9/11 but did hear about the Pentagon. <laughs> 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 like he didn't. <laughs> He's more concerned about that field wherever yeah. that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't hear about 9/11. Oh, yeah. that, that was Pennsylvania. Right? Yeah, field in Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, he, <laughs> the guy that only found out about the Pentagon. Yeah. He's like, "What do you mean the towers fell? What are you talking about?" <laughs> I did hear about the Pentagon. It's like, dude, they didn't they wheel the TV into your classroom like like everybody <laughs> oh, else. Oh yeah, oh, I was in fifth grade. See, I don't remember nine eleven. I don't. I, I wasn't online yet. I think I was in fifth grade. I went. I don't home. think I'm online now. To be I honest. remember getting. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. <laughs> You're definitely not. <laughs> I remember getting out of school early. I was like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Half day, I, not even half. I, yeah. Like I remember thinking, like this is kind of sweet. Like I did not understand the magnitude. Like I was like, this is kind of rules. We're just watching TV in school. How old were you when nine eleven? It was two thousand one. So you, fifth grade, so you were, so I was, you were twenty nine, I think. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I was still in fifth grade. I'd been there for a while. <laughs> now, how old were you? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. So how old that is? Wow, I must 10. have been in kindergarten. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know name or numbers. I mean, I was in math class, and they wheeled in the they literally wheeled in the TV. We're just watching TV, Man. and like I yeah, I truly I didn't understand the magnitude. I like I, I knew it was, I knew that a, like I, I just I don't know. I knew something happened. Yeah, we kind of were getting out of school. It didn't affect you though. Like, yeah, yeah. No. I was just like yeah. sick. I can ride my bike like yeah. an hour early. That's uh -huh. awesome. I can go home and skateboard. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah! I tried skateboarding. It wasn't for me. I was just Love bad. It. I was just very bad. Do you guys well, have, yeah, you guys were punk rock. <laughs> do you guys, do, do you guys have this weird life. thing on your Instagram uh, algorithm when you go to the like uh, explore page? Like every other video is just footage of nine eleven. No, no, no. Um, I get a lot of wait. Uh, I get a lot of half naked chicks. All right, we're clearly looking I, at different things. I've got. <laughs> I get a lot of like motorcycles and airplane. My, every, uh, why, like, why is yours nine eleven? I don't know. Every I, I haven't clicked on it or it's like every half scroll is like a video of 9 11 
Yeah, but no, but that's got something to do with like your yeah, algorithm. That's what you click. No, but yeah, I'm clicking on pictures of boobs. No, but, I, but I'm not, I'm not clicking on 911 footage. It's just like it's it's what? feeding me. Look, I'll show you. What? Yeah, he's gonna bring it up right now. No, I got I got like airplanes and. No, look, my, mine's all... Okay, he, also, he gets airplanes. He doesn't even get 911. Yeah. yeah I don't really get the 911. <laughs> He's halfway there. All right, hold on. Scroll through this and and stop as soon as you find... Yeah, I wonder how they know. Like, I've never... Footage of 911. Really... Okay, this is, this is real, by the way. I'm, I'm going to refresh, dude. Just so... All right. Hold on. Refresh. And there it is. What the... Dude, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. No, see? Really? You can't be doing oh that, God. dude. Yeah, why? What? That was... It was in within the first four blocks. Keep, keep scrolling down. There's going to be more. Why? Okay, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Pentagon. Okay, technically, that's part of it. Hey, that was part of 9-11. It's not the, it's not the Twin Towers. Okay, scrolling, like... scrolling. There's some pretty women. Oh, she is really cute. And then 9-11. What is going on? I don't... I'm not sure. <laughs> what is going yeah, on? Yeah, what? I have no idea. Well, that's something Hold you're on. doing, though. I, 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 it's, it's, it's a problem. I can't, I can't fix it. Man. Here's my explore page. Fuck. It's just chicks like in like skin colored no, clothes. No, Tom, that's too many chicks, dude. Look, look at that. That's too many. Yeah, there's 9/11. Hold on, no, no, hold on. You see? It? No, there's Ryan Gosling, who is me. Yeah. But there is Ryan. 9/11. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Yeah, why? I don't know. It's just constant 9/11. Then you got padding. But Tom, yours. Yours. Look at that. That's the that's the tower burning. No, we see like, it. I never you. I never go on Instagram. So I think they just know I'm a guy. Is that right? I I I rarely open Instagram. Your explore page was like every square was just a naked lady. Just a chick. <laughs> I, I I I never use Inst like I don't go on it. I love at Instagram. All. Like I'll check it when I get like ten notifications. I'll be like, Ugh, and then I'll message whoever back. What other social medias do you have? But there it is again. Well, I have them all. Okay. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, yes. It's not eleven. Them, it's a diagram of how the towers collapse. Okay, but you're doing it though. It's something you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing Look, though. That's stop clicking on it. That that you just made it worse. Yeah, you did just make it worse by clicking. <laughs> yes, there's another one. All right, okay. look, I'm, I'm just gonna put my. Um, put your phone. Wait, on. What were you? What did you just ask me? Out of here, man. Well, I don't even remember what what others. Social media is DM. Oh yeah, yeah. Other, uh, I, well, I have them all. I just never. I don't. I, I stay off of them. I don't like. I'm not. I'm never doing something. And I'm like, oh, I gotta post this to Instagram. Mm -hmm. The only thing I use Instagram for is to just follow other com other comedians. Yeah, yeah, I only post then, like like show promos and pictures of me doing stand up. I didn't use it at all. I I've, I've had Instagram since the beginning. Yeah, and it used to be it used to not like you could be friends with people, but it used to be like just camera filters. Like you would take a picture on your phone, mm -hmm. and then you would bring the picture into the app, and then you put whatever filter like on nine it. too many filters. Yeah, that was it. It was like just a camera filter yeah, app. It was fun. Tom, back when you first downloaded Instagram, did you have to put the giant hood over just with the <laughs> camera flash when you took pictures? Yeah, it, it, took, the, it took like three hours to take a photo. They had to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> With no smile, just <laughs> okay. Yeah. May maybe we got it. We'll, we'll find out in nine months. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Taking pictures back then must have yeah, been a I got pain that. in the ass. But yeah, I never really. I don't know. I just never. I never think about doing it. And then I don't know. I got Instagram, TikTok, and a YouTube account, and that's it. I don't have Twitter. And it's X. called X. Okay. How see, dare you? I wouldn't even How know that. How dare you dead name? I don't even have Spotify. <laughs> when I want to listen to music, I go to YouTube. Yeah. Like a psycho. Oh, see, I got Spotify and Apple Music. So Apple Music's just for me. So like when I'm here, when I'm home by myself and I'm whatever, playing video games or clean, whatever, I put on Apple Music and I put that on shuffle. But if I'm hosting, I put I you know you gotta you gotta have a good playlist. Yeah, and, and, and like, you and always I, had the know, best, by the way. Well, I, I, I duh, duh. but and I know that Goes people are saying. not people are not gonna listen to my people aren't gonna like my Apple Music shuffle. Mm. Like that's just for me. Yeah, I got a lot of Irish music on there. I got a, it's you know it's a lot of Kesha. There's a lot of stuff that I don't even like on there, but I don't even know. Like it's so much work at this point to take it off, so I just skip it. Is your Irish playlist just the Dropkick Murphy song do, a hundred times? I do love Dropkick Murphy. 
That's my St. Patty's Day playlist. Yeah. Just that over and over again. What's the brothers one? Or no, not what? the brothers. The Clancy brothers? The Clancy brothers. Tim Finnegan lived in Morgan oh, Street. The yeah. gentle <laughs> Irishman <laughs> by no, Yeah, dude, that one. You like them? T- Finnegan's Wake? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty good. Play ba- it. A banger of a jam. But yeah, no, I mean, I don't consider Spotify as a... As like a I guess it's not media. a social media, you know. Yeah. They're kind of... I mean, you could be friends with people, I guess, on there, but... No, I've got TikTok, I got Facebook, I got X. Deleted my Facebook. I have See, I just don't go on it. Like I like I feel bad every year cuz every like cuz my mom is like, "Oh, Tom, every like you mm-hmm. thank everybody on your birthday." Yeah. And I never do. I never went on it, so I just went fucking just deleted. Well, I had Facebook when it was like cool when it just came out. You could only get it if you had a college email address. Yeah. So I got I, yeah you had to like be invited to Facebook. You joined when it was the Facebook, I you, bet. When it was uh, the Facebook. The, yeah. That's a, the, it was yeah. the original name. That's okay. Uh, probably actually. <laughs> but you, you don't use it anymore though. I, yeah no no. I mean I have it on my phone. I just don't use it. Yeah, I don't understand. Social media is just not interesting to me. It's not like I guess Instagram is probably the most interesting like if i when i open it i always watch people's like videos of their sets yeah and i always throw them a like even if it sucks <laughs> <laughs> thanks tom I, I appreciate it i need those likes i yeah. need every I like know. you can give me. i'm just trying to give all the likes but no like I'll, I'll i'll scroll through it a little bit but i get sick of it and, and then i'll look like i'll look at the clock and it'll be like 25 minutes i'm on this i'm like are you kidding yeah, me? why yeah. am i on this for so long you got to use them properly instagram is for pictures mainly I yeah. still like. I still look at it as a picture, uh, social media. See, I app. think of it as more of like a video. That's, thing. It's turned into yeah. that. Yeah, uh, that's why I like YouTube. I have my own YouTube account, and if I want to post like a video, like I'll post it on there. YouTube's yeah. video, Instagram's picture. See, YouTube's for longer videos. Instagram to me is for like short, like minute and a half mm-hmm. longest clips. Or like yeah, like like every comics crowd work clips yeah, there. yeah. I, I have a few of those i'm guilty of that yeah i mean but. i got them too but i i still look at it as like a yeah yeah picture pictures. kind of yeah the only thing i do on instagram is, is just like promote shows and just post pictures of me doing stand-up that's yeah really, that's literally it. i i like it like there's nothing personal on there I, i'm not like i had a weird egg for breakfast today it's like it's strictly business it's all stand-up my man thank you yeah, i mean uh well. and tiktok doesn't appeal to me at all like I only have it, so I don't have like one. whatever people people send me TikToks and I'll. I got really into TikTok. And I'll just open them. I got really and into watch it, them. and I haven't opened it in like months. But it's just when people send me a video, yeah, then I can watch it. Like I used to not have it, but then I w- I get the FOMO. I'm like I have to see what they said. <laughs> I I, <laughs> like, I don't have that at all. I'm fi- uh, I'm fine with not seeing. Oh, what's on I the I can't TikTok. even. I can't live the rest of the day if I don't know what that video was about. And then it's never good. <laughs> That's why you can't have all of them. You can't have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, fucking whatever. It's just too much. It's just, LinkedIn. Yeah, you just have fucking Well, two. I don't know about LinkedIn. That's, <laughs> that, that's if you graduated college. That's, that's I something did. else. But, but I, I mean, I yeah, who uses LinkedIn? My It's my headshot from when I was 20. So it was like a 40-year-old headshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have too many... Tom, you're 50? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not young, guys. <laughs> if you have too many social medias, you're, it just, your phone is well, just nonstop. It's just nonstop. Yeah. I also have none of the notifications on. Yeah, me neither. I turn those, all those off. I don't want to know unless I seek out to click like on Like, I just turned off my Snapchat notifications again. See, I don't have Snapchat. I deleted only, Snapchat. The only, notific- the only people that Snapchat me is my, we have a big family group Snapchat. Mm. There's like 40 people in it. And it's always, it's like, oh, look at the baby. Look at, the-. and I, yes, I love my cousins, but like, I'm, I'm not getting notified every second. No. Delete it. Get rid of it. My only notifications are car chases and uh, texts. I love car chases so much. Did I ever guys. tell you I was uh, I was on camera in a car chase in Hollywood one time? Were you? Yeah, it was my my first job <laughs> when we first moved here. Um, I was uh, I, I would go around town. Fluffer? And, and <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I would uh, I would go around town and like secure places for um, uh, in, in this big van for like places to film. I'd like talk to the residents and be like, you know, like 
uh, hey, uh, we're going to park the toilets in front of your house. And they'd be like, no, you're not. And then I'd be like, how's a six grand check sound? And they'd be like, <laughs> you're going to park the toilets in front of my place. <laughs> but this one time I was driving, uh, I was driving east down on Hollywood. I just passed Vine. And uh, and this this car like zipped past me, and like six police officers came down. It was like, like you know you know how low those helicopters fly. Oh yeah. yeah. Right? And I was like, oh my god, what's going on? And I went and I looked it up on the news, the local news the next night, and then I saw my van there. I was like, oh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, dude, that rolls. It's actually little, little did he know I was the one in the car, <laughs> and you got away. I got away. Well I got away. Done. They get away all the time. It's like the the ones where they get away are the most boring ones. Yeah. <laughs> Except when you see them get away. I've seen a couple get away, and I'm like, no way. You got to, here's the move, okay? I'm going to put it out in the world. Uh-oh. If you're ever running from the cops in L.A., so. Motorcycle. You got to, see, first, first, step one. While you're, you, you start getting chased, right? You got a cop right behind you. Step one, start driving absolutely insane. So you have to go into oncoming traffic. You have to go, you have to be, in, like, so nuts. You have to be flying mm-hmm. fast. You have to be so nuts that the cops go into tracking mode is what they call it. Tracking mode is when there's only a helicopter above, like, following you. Yeah, it's, like, too and, dangerous and for the, them. Yes, to- the, the, because, yeah, because if there's eight cop cars doing everything you do, like, every like 20 people are going to die. Yeah. This is very so, valuable information. So they back off. Hold on. The, the squad cars back off, and so you're on your own, but you're hel- the, hel- the helicopter's still chasing you, right? Step two, call your friend. In this case, I'm calling you guys. I'm okay, do it. Right. We're there. I'm saying, I'm saying, We're hey, there. Guys, hey, guys, I'm on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm going to be under this viaduct in, like, just wait for me under this viaduct. Right. You'll see me. I'm in a black, the stolen black Audi. Okay. <laughs> um, just park under, <laughs> park under the viaduct going north. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're on I, the 101 under Gower. Because I, because I'm going to be coming south and you say okay okay so you're going no you're heading north yeah i'm flying by mm-hmm. but as i hit the viaduct, like, you got to hit the brakes a little bit because you know you don't want to get injured that's right yeah. so slow down a little bit viaduct boom ghost ride the car hop in dive the, out hop in the hop truck. into your we, car we keep going north we're, but yeah but here's why we get caught because we're i'm sitting in the back oh, of the no, but you're lying and down. they know my face and we're also drinking Oh God! Are we drinking at the time? We're gonna have to be. It depends when you call us. But yeah, so if it's yeah. if it's if it's like ten p.m. and we're like, we gotta go save Tom. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. No, that's the move. You gotta go. You gotta go. Don't ghost call right, me past through the viaduct so that the chopper follows the car because they still think the car is moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they follow the car out the other way and then we're and gone. Zo. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the best ones. Yeah. Those are the best. Yeah. Nothing but free road till Ventura, oh, baby. Oh yeah, let's go. It's great. <laughs> and then the stolen car, like they don't even know that it's you. Yep. Right off into the sunset, down sunset, all the <laughs> way, all the go. way to Badger, all the way to B and J. Guys, should we wrap this one up? Let's wrap it. Let's wrap it up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done the most. Tom, thank you so much for having us. Thank guys. You. Look, Tom, you're, um, you're, keep it at any time. Can you guys get like weekend availability or what? Let no, we work weekends. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like, we have our dumb day job we're, until we're funny enough. To we're not funny out. enough to. Yeah, we're not funny enough to have weekends off. But eventually, <clears throat> eventually we will. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Always. Yeah. Well, you got shows coming up. What do you got? I got a show. I got a show. As this well. is going to come out in uh, two days. Two days. Yeah. I have a show on. The 25th of this month, February 25th, at the Hotel Cafe. Uh, a new oh, who shows it? Uh, it's Cassidy's? It, no, it's Dante Gonzalez. Dante's. Dante and uh, his friends, um, it's their first time putting it on. Nice. And uh, they're, Genuinely hilarious guy. Yeah, they're really... He's, he's one of the good yeah. ones. Yeah, he is one of the good ones. Like Because you see him. I was having this conversation with, um, I'll say their names, uh, Luke Roberts. Hilarious. And, um, hilarious guy. And Mike Lamar. Uh, yeah. we, we, we just, we had a bomb mic at some mic and anyway, we were talking afterwards and, uh, we were exchanging, we we're just talking and we were, we were all just like, I, was, I told them, I was like, you guys are like some of the good ones. You guys are like really about it. Like just, I li- love you guys stick with it, whatever these, they're very similar. They're like, you can see them. Yeah. Some of the ones that are like, oh, you're like a good shit. And, uh, but yeah, February 25th hotel cafe, um, 
I'll be doing six minutes. Uh, if you come on out and if you get six a, minutes, six minutes, baby, you have that much. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> but if you buy a ticket, he's only got five. Um, if, you, <laughs> if you buy a ticket, it's on me. So just let me know if you want to come and uh, uh, tickets on me. It'll be totally fine. Just uh, just check my Instagram at Ryan Jennings. Quick story about Luke Roberts. I uh, the last open mic that I was with him at, I, uh, he went out on stage and then fumbled for a minute and then reached in his back pocket and pulled out a CVS receipt that was like blank on the back that yeah. had all of his notes on it. Oh my God. And then proceeded to kill. He crushed it. <laughs> and then at the end he was like, all right. And he just tossed the notes off. Didn't even bring them with him, dude. <laughs> that's the most Luke Roberts. Yeah, dude, it's ever. hilarious. He is so, yeah. that's exactly. At his, at the mic, this happened <laughs> last night. This happened last night. He, we were at the, we were at the mic I just for mentioned and uh, we were sitting next to each other. And like I had, but I had my notebook on like the chair in between us and, uh, I had just gotten off and he reached over and opened up my notebook and just went, (laughs) (laughs) and he tore a page out and then like wrote his shit. And I'm like watching the comic on stage, but I I just like, (laughs) I, I look over and he goes. (laughs) i got nothing i got nothing and i was like oh just go whatever dude he's so funny he's Uh, very funny he's a funny dude so is mike lamar all right i'll uh i'll be at comedy boulevard on the 25th i'll be at comedy boulevard on uh, the 24th Mm. night of the 24th i'll be doing eight minutes holy shit so i wish uh, i had eight minutes yeah so if you want to come see me uh you know Trounce about for a little bit. I'll be there. <laughs> It'll be a back to back. Come see him twenty fourth. Yeah. Come see me twenty fifth, man. Yeah, Hell do yeah. it. What's your uh, What's your old Insta? Oh, follow me. I'm Hayden Wyckoff. H a y d n w i c k o f f. And check out the podcast, Bombing Podcast. Oh, their podcast rules. It's so yeah. fun to be uh-huh. on. We're at 104 episodes at this point. It's so fun. to When you guys have me, it's a blast. Oh, you've been on like four times. I know. Right? It's so I fun. I think you're one of the most frequent guests, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's very fun. Yeah, I'm just going to move in with you, to be honest. <laughs> Pull a Luke Walls. I don't even need you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking about that, if, uh, next guest will be Luke Walls. Yeah. So tune in for that. And uh, yeah, email us, bombingpodcast at gmail.com. It's we'll- completely anonymous. We do not name names. Mm-hmm. So if you like did a murder or something, we won't out you. Yeah. You'll just have to take our word for that. I mean, yeah. they wouldn't get necessarily get caught from an email. The cops would just be like, well, they're out there still. Well, we just won't say your name. <laughs> yeah. We don't We don't name names on the email. You imagine a judge being like, all right, uh, I present as evidence uh, this clip from Bombing Podcast. And it's, it's just us just like <laughs> fucking Fuck you, clinking drinks around. Mm, comedy store is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and I'm Tom Carlos Kelly. Thanks. Peace. Thank you, dude. Cheers, boys. Peace. Cheers, Thank boys. You, Tom. Love you, brother. All right, folks. Did you like that? That was not episode five of buddy podcast that was episode 104 of bombing podcast precisely did you guys enjoy that it was a little different a little <laughs> wasn't the normal stuff you were used to seeing that's right did you like all the things we talked about were we silly enough for you Ooh, where was the booth Ooh, where was the stripes get out of here whatever dude it doesn't look you're missing the point we're just that was technically not our podcast. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe to, to uh, Tom Kelly's podcast, yeah. buddy. Uh, leave, leave some comments down there. Also, make sure you email our podcast, bombingpodcast at gmail.com. As long as it's not about how... The booth wasn't there. You didn't see the stripes. And how technically it was 100% not your <laughs> podcast, Mom. <bomb. laughs> I don't want to hear about it, okay? Follow us on Instagram. I'm at Ryan Jennings. I'm at Hayden Wyckoff. And thank you guys so much for watching episode 104, right, of Bombing Podcast. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm starting to think it doesn't count. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. I don't care, dude. We'll see you guys next week. Episode 105. Good night. That was easy.